pairing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now presenting herring. Well, you need a sheet of paper, any water essence, and a herring. Excellent. I think I have a herring. I have six. I have one. <laughs> Also, don't take this fishbone off the ground. You will be stealing that fishbone. I already have four fishbones in my pockets, plus a bird skull. Excellent. When another divine arises, will its thoughts change back? What if there are no thoughts of it? <sighs> Yet so quickly, we find sources. Literally everything around here is steel. Well, yeah, I've. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Sit back there. <laughs> hmm. Fox, how strong is your weapon right now? <laughs> I just noticed it. I think. I think I threw like the first two things down, but I don't. Uh, okay. Then I think this will be more useful for you than it would me. Take the axe. It's stronger. Hmm. I have two cloves of garlic, a ham hock. <laughs> I have a lot of random food in my pockets. I am a walking corpse. <laughs> I mean, at least that makes things tasty, you know? So last week's stream, I had like a grayish background behind the text, and now it's just like completely clear. And that's making it hard to read the text on the side. Okay, there we go. Now I have a gray box. Wish I could lock it to um like keep it gray or whatever. I ordered the new glasses at the beginning of this week, and it's like, it'll be two to three weeks until it comes in. And I'm like, okay, that sounds great. It's not too bad. And then, like, later this week, it was just like, oh, I'm starting to get headaches from the poor prescription I currently have. <laughs> See, I have me. I am living. <laughs> it's like, I mean, what are you I talking have some about? Raw ribs. <laughs> I'm not going to pack my clothes full of meat. <laughs> I'm not mad, darling. I'm not mad. Sweetheart. Okay, it just sent in empty line of text. Why? <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Anna. Anna. Tattoo needle. Takes one action point to use. <laughs> oh, that's uh, her personal uh, quest stuff. Yeah. Oh, ten bottles of mead. Oh, a thousand Mama, bottles of dust. Right <laughs> Where are you? True. Fifty bottles of tears. Oh, make the hinges rust. Mm To avoid Woken are attracted to swords. But why? 
I mean, I'm wearing just straight up leather and decorative wrist guards. Look at my hat, for example. <laughs> Your hat's no amazing. Sense. I am completely normal. <laughs> Ignore the golden teeth and the freaking gem eyes. Due, due to the clothing you wear, your undead nature is hidden from those around you. It's like, uh, sure, Jan. <laughs> sure, they're not noticing the bony tail, the fact <laughs> I'm not actually breathing, and you can see my spinal column. <laughs> sure. Everything's stealing now. That sucks. Warm is minus 15 fire resistance, plus 10 water resistance. Oh, I don't know if I should do this. It's a light helmet here. Um, where you at? Uh, in the hut. This hut? Don't, yes, don't. I'm the bush. I'm trying ah, to the bush. Hello. Ooh, the light helmet. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, hmm. do I try and steal it or do I just not? If we do it, we do it once Kanuda's back so that we have everybody available. Yeah. Because I'd hate for a Kanuda's character to just be stuck, <laughs> not doing anything. I am back. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Azangi's steal thinking of helmet? stealing a helmet. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to make sure no one can see me. Um, I see. could talk are... with some of the nearby NPCs to try and distract them. Where Where are you? I am uh, inside in this building. With this I'm the bush. <laughs> I am the bush. The bush. I'm you see that helmet to your right? Helmet. Get something uh, for our little fox friend. Yeah, one moment. Ooh, that is decent. Three physical, two magic armor. Although it, it requires finesse now that I read it. Is anybody actually... Just go for it right now. Go for it and run. Like, get out of here. Don't, don't stick around. <laughs> well, back down to the beach. Yeah, anybody who has stolen gear on them should also run. I don't have anything stolen, I don't think. Running away now. Although I can't run too far, or else I'm gonna run into alligators. Oh yeah, no, just come down to the beach. Like, you should be fine. Okay, are we... Don't come any closer. This is unsafe. Yeah. Are we going to the um... person with the flag? Are we going to the cave where we were last time or is there something else that we're doing we are going to the crocodilian flag where i was i think yeah so down by the beach down by the beach hmm. down by the bay <laughs> Uh, oh, y'all are over there. Okay, I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nor northwest. Since I've stolen it, <laughs> I have claimed my hat. <laughs> I see a crab. Mm-hmm. That crab is great. If we can get Pet Pal, oh, I want you to see what that crab has to say. <laughs> I love I love that her name is Septa the Ineffable. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. Oh, we're sneaking up? Um, yes. However, we do have to be careful because... They are good at seeing. They're good at seeing, but also they teleport. Well, I thought only one did. No, I think they all do. I might be wrong there, but I, I, I want to say they all do. There's um, oil barrels that we could use? Yes. there There is stuff that we can do to them. Um, it's just a matter of getting into decent position. Uh -huh. Um, I think our tank should definitely run up to them and, and start the combat. Uh-oh. They or didn't notice can. me. 
That's, that's also a thing that could happen. I, I, I was staying completely still. Um, yeah, no, it, do, it doesn't matter. The sight line, if they, if you enter their sight line, that's it. They see you. Oh. What's, what sneaking does is it, is it lowers the sight line. Um. Okay, maybe I don't do that. I'm going to move in a little bit. Mm, okay. Two action points, one action. No, shit, that used two action points. Oh, I moved it by just a little bit too much. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do the flesh sacrifice. I still don't know I'm here. They will soon if you don't move back, because they're gonna get closer. Um. Contaminate. Yeah, okay. I... I want to let their turns go by so I can get up top and get a sneak attack on them. I'm moving back a little bit so I'm not in the rain. Mm -hmm. And then contaminate. Uh, which did time. not get them. Even though they're wet, they, they did not get poisoned. Because of course. Well, they're not in the puddles. Yeah, they they have to be in the puddle. So ah. the area that it shows is not is not what the size of the puddle is going to be. It's just everyone who's going to get wet because of the rain. I ah. could beat it in the skull with a firebomb. Gotcha. I'm moving away. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, should I throw the firebomb? Oh, wait, no shit. Path is interrupted now. I. Uh, ooh, teleport. There's okay. the teleporting one. Yep. Uh, in theory, if you use the firebomb on... how, If you use the firebomb onto the poison, it makes it explode. I was about to hit the one that's in the poison, or near the poison. Plus the firebomb, <clears throat> plus the radius. I'm gonna... Bit. I'm gonna do you one better. Nice. Well, that also hit... that also hit, uh, you, Crystal, so sorry about that. Oh, well. It's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I got a sneak attack on them, so... And they already teleported, so I'm a little bit covered there. Nice. Although, now I am very far from attack range. <laughs> but I did bean the one in the head with a liquor bottle full of fire. You're on the right, you okay. Go. Do that. Move up here. An encouragement range. No. Since There's I only use so rain, much I won't I can be able to. to... Ugh. Um. I won't be able to put my own fire out. <laughs> if you heal yourself, I believe it puts the fire out since it's a water spell. Oh, true. But you want to yeah. get out of the. Uh, you want to get out of the oil first. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll stay in the fire and then heal. <laughs> Okay. Um. Let's see. It's one AP for that, and it's two for that. Okay. but nothing matches. Okay. Heal myself. Yep. Okay. Cool. There you go. I've noticed it also gets rid of poison, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. Yeah. And I'll preserve energy for next turn. Yeah, it set itself <laughs> on fire! Huzzah! <laughs> that hurt <laughs> one, one point of health. <laughs> Well, it also <laughs> ate through his armor. True. Which is about 25 armor plus one. So. 14 armor. 25. 23 armor. Four three. 14. I am. Well, I also took. Because it was also on fire, I think. It ate the. Uh. I think the magic armor was already gone because of when I set stuff on fire. Hmm. 
Because uh, a physical attack does not do magic damage just because they have, just because the person itself is on fire. But what if it did? That would be interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fox. I, I think I think my um, my fire spell might have hit you a little bit too. I thought it did, oh, no. but I guess, but I might not. I, I might be wrong. Know. Oh, they're coming for Knuda. Swiggity <laughs> swoody, I'm coming for that booty. I was about to say, uh, I think he wants your butt. He can't have my butt. He gets more fire. As I set myself on fire. Huzzah! I'm, I'm the only one unharmed. I have four turns until I can heal somebody again, so... <clears throat> and now I laugh at this fucker because he's got to walk all the way around to get to me again. Because, yeah, I think we're beating can I the hit teleporting this? one. I think I yeah, can I hit this one. I believe we are. Nice. Ah, very nice. Um... I could... How much does this do? It does six to eight. This is the teleporting one, right? The one, the one, the one that was going up the cliff is, I think, the teleporting one. Okay. Yep. And now it should die to uh, damage over time. Yep. The poison and burning. Wow. That mm -hmm. looked like a pickle. Oh, I forgot to hit tweet. That, that looks like it. That looks like it tickled your pickle. Ha! <laughs> ah. And then just casually walks across. <laughs> you know, as you do. Yeah, you know. Ow. But the bleeding failed. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> so they have resistance to fire, water, and poison. Good to know. Oh, thank you. Dead. First take that. Then run up here. Then hit this guy. Bam. Yuki, I have two turns until I can uh, heal. Do you have a potion? It's your last one. Okay. Uh, I I have an extra that I can send you. So I if have you, seven if you want minor to... healing potions because I crafted a bunch earlier. You can take some from me. Oh yeah, yeah. That one's dead. That'll be good. Did I hit the ground again, or did that actually hit it? No. No, I think that hit it. Um, yeah, because it was, it was asleep, and now it's not, so that definitely hit it. Okay. Um... Can you also provide a healing potion to somebody else? I was about to say, I have two no. actual healing potions. You can't throw them at people. Um, I don't think you can in the middle of combat. Okay. Uh, contamination I can't really use. Yeah. I think that'll just be the end of my turn. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Ooh, rip. Damn it. Ouch. Eh, don't worry. I got three resurrection scrolls. You have oh, three? <laughs> yep. Stole a I bunch am... of them. I have been hoarding these for a bit. <laughs> the great thing, the cool thing is, you can steal the merchant's merchant inventory. <laughs> well, nice. Unlike... Only one enemy left. Mm -hmm. No, I was just saying, like, unlike most games where merchants... You interact with them and they tell you everything in their shop and sell you everything in their shop, but if you kill them, there's nothing on them. In this game, no, no, no! If you steal from them, 
You steal their merchant inventory. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that wheelbarrow you sell in the shop? You have it on you, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, How? Pass is burning. Yeah, I'm going to... Go ahead and cast rain, I guess. Or no, no. Uh, well, I was going to anyways. Yeah, sure. I might as well. It's not that long in between. You're rested. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, if you if you keep a bedroll in your inventory after a combat, you can just click it and it rests you up. Huh. Well, I've once again done the loot goblin thing and taken everything. <laughs> nope, there's body parts uh, up here. Nice. I'm coming up for body I parts. Get already in use. Damn it, Izangi. What? Damn it, Izangi. I just read in the journal. Animal hide. Wait, why is that dwarf skeleton stealing? We know it's enemy. Um, should I take the? Uh, I'll take the animal hide. Ooh, repair hammer. That sounds useful. Um, I have a wretched torso in my inventory now. That. Does not sound good. I can There's eat it. Dead. Don't touch the intestines; those will make you sick. I mean, do it anyway. <laughs> they won't actually give you anything other than just making you sick. Oh, okay. Here's no lore. Nope, nothing. There's a dwarven skeleton up here, but that says empty, so never mind. Yeah, we just raided that. Or, okay. Yeah, oh, raided. um. Can I get the gloves? Uh, yes. Okay, and I will. I'll pass my my gloves on to somebody else. Uh, who wants pigskin gloves? Three physical, two magic armor. Um, I I just ate the torso, and and so it started a conversation oh, yeah. thing. Yep. Early memories overshadowed by a terrifying death, a tempest of teeth, scales, and snarls. You never imagined it would end like this. And that's it. <laughs> so just, there was a terrifying creature Here. that caused um, their death. Me... Here you go, Fox. I, I sent you the gloves. You're going to be our tank. You might, you might as well have all the armor. Could I have the less good gloves? Because I have none currently. Yeah. Yeah, right now I only have a robe. And I guess some threadbare pants. Oh, can I uh, can I get that dusty hat out of your inventory uh, box? That'll be better than my bucket. The bucket. <laughs> I thought I had sent that to him so you would have a little more armor. Oh, that's fair. Cause yeah, I swapped out my hat for this helmet. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's fair. Okay. There's also a severed head and a bloodied arm. Consume fish. Fish. Consume fish. Okay. Consume fish. That's a lot of fish to consume. Consume ham. Ooh, barrel of fish. <laughs> it's like shooting fish in a barrel. And here's the barrel of fish. <laughs> <laughs> Th this whole barrel has one herring inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> rotting oh i have i have a whole bunch of penny buns so if we get um empty potion bottles send those over to me and i'll make health potions uh, extra uh, ones for let people. me check here. how many how many poison bottles do i have oh no i don't have seven minor healing potions that is bound to seven <laughs> <laughs> so a slight difference i i have a singular one <laughs> You do, yeah, you do a have it. Healing you, potion. You, you do also have two empty potion bottles. So if you send those to me, I'll make some extra healing potions here. Yeah. Uh, just. I wish you could just drag and drop it into the inventory. That'd be a lot easier. Uh, if you right click, you can send it to people specifically. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I, I know you can do that, but I was like, oh, I'll just drag it up there, and nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Since I have no use for normal potions, I've given all mine to the tank. Um, there is a locked chest here. What? I'll be <laughs> you, immediately, you immediately have, have a zonkey's attention. 
Well, otherwise, nope. I'm useless otherwise. I sent all of my potions to you, Fox. I, I forgot to split the stack. <laughs> Time to pick. The picking. Yes, I'm fingering the lock. <laughs> picking, 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 picking the lock. Uh, I need to. Any fun things? A mace for Fox. A, eh, it's a rain skill book. I'll just hang on, grab all that. Ooh. And I can make makeshift clubs now. Nice. Uh, someone, someone come over to here. With, in fact, Fox, come over here with me. That is thank a you, lot Fox. Better. Uh, thank you for the potions. Now, Fox, would you like to see a magic trick? You were over here. Now you're over there. Whoa! <laughs> now you have damage. <laughs> it's okay. It didn't get through the armor. <laughs> well, now you're kind of fucked. Yeah. Um. Two more rounds worth of time and then I can bring you back. So about one minutes. more. You were over there. Now you're over there. Excellent. <laughs> I still a severed head in the bloodied arm to eat. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Where? I right dare. I see it. Uh, also, I left the ooh. intestines on the ground if you want to grab those for whatever they're useful for. Or I could just carry I them, you know. I don't think they are this useful. This is for a anything. lot more useful for the friendo. Okay. Um, I'm uh, going eight, to. Seven damage. Steph, like five to seven, I think it was, for that axe. I'm going to eat the head now. You are ever sodden, ever sandy. The smell of guts and sea waste cling to you like a ghost. I have four bottles of beer, two bottles of wine, six mugs sea. of beer, and a mug of water. <laughs> <coughs> you are ever I... sodden, ever sandy. The smell of guts and sea waste cling to you like a ghost. You sought freedom, the life of a seaman, but you didn't find it. End. <laughs> Aww. Ever sodden, ever sandy. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something really funny about that phrase to me. <laughs> and then the bloodied arm. Looking around for joy, you feel excited. A new environment to explore, new people to meet, new challenges to overcome. Who knows what could happen here? Aw, they were looking forward to their time here. That was their first mistake. Oh. Yeah. Get... And then they're dead now. 20% healing from beer. Damn. And gives you plus two lucky charm. Nice. How am I drunk? I'm a Look, don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Uh, very carefully. Hmm, <laughs> poison. Okay, are we going up to, uh, gosh, there's, there's like somebody around here who has like a flag or there's like the cave that we went to previously yeah. but then left. I see yeah, the talk to Migo. Yeah, we'll talk, we can, we'll go talk to Migo first. Because we can easily complete that story. I'm now, the per who know. has, who has the arrow flower? Uh, me and Fox. Okay, um, then is that the... I think I also do. The corpse. Yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yarrow flower, right? Yeah. 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 And actually, the crystal start. should. The crystal should be the one to go up there. Uh, where um, where are we going? Give, a, give it just a second. Uh, let me talk to Marco here real quick. Oh, okay. Marco. Oh, that guy. Marco. Marco. Okay, listen. I haven't seen you around here before. New? Say it feels like you've been here for years. <laughs> That'll happen here. Hope you're holding up all right in any case. I just made dinner. <laughs> <laughs> alone? 
a single rack of ribs turned into dinner. Well, so you've been lucky enough to make some close ties. She gives you a long look. You keep them friends of yours close, hey? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Oh. Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. Uh, ask why she's here alone. I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. Come, fleshlings. I couldn't stop Eat them from taking my boys from me when they did. Reckon they were cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me, too. Now I'm just waiting for him to call my name. Waiting and remembering. I feel like cured needs to be in, like, heavy quotes, you know? Mm. You'll, you'll see. Uh, ask her to tell you more. What were her boys like? Her eyes sparkle. Kind of you to ask. Stefan, if he was my little one. Smart as a whip and no less wicked. And my husband, he was called Felix. He was an expert healer. Could fix a broken bone in a short minute. Take a seat in the sand and listen. Time about birthdays, about <laughs> Felix's prickly beard, about the skunk Stefan once dragged home for a <laughs> Joy radiates from her as she remembers. She places a warm hand on your shoulder. What a gift to think of them. I'd like to give something to you too. A family recipe. One of Felix's best. He'd be happy to know it went to such a a warm soul. Take care of yourself. You hear? You're a sweet one. And there you go. Aw. You be nice to her and she gives you a healing scroll. Nice. That's like a one time use thing, basically? Yeah. Yeah, okay. scrolls are scrolls are one time use only, uh, but books will actually give you the skill. Cool. <clears throat> but they're also one time use. <laughs> uh, are we going to the yellow flag or the red flag? That red flag uh, is specifically for your character. Yes, and ah. which also also you should not go talk to them yet. Okay. Um, uh, but let's see. I don't remember. I think Mal has stuff to buy. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check him. Real quick. Yeah, it says he's a trader, so I'm gonna see what what skills he's got. I think oh, there's a bunch of different red flags. Okay. Mhm. Mm the red flags are side quests. The yellow one is main quest, I believe. Gotcha. Um, ask him what he wants to know. Uh, wave away your history. Tell them where you come from isn't half as important as where you're going. I see, I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you find. Lower your voice to a whisper. Tell them you want to belong to yourself. Yourself alone. I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. Tell him in no uncertain terms you will be free. I see it in your shoulders. The weight you carry. I hope your wish comes true. Take this rope. It is a gift. It is common, but it helps you lift burdens. It is nothing. Many fragments swirl on my shore. <laughs> See what I gather. This man uh, is nuts. Oh, he's got the uh, the geomancer skills. Oh, cool. So I should come over. Yeah, you should. You should uh, buy them from this guy. Um, okay, I'm on my okay. way. Uh, in fact, I will lend you money because it's a lot. It's a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. I have one forty-seven um, currently. <laughs> uh, they're two sixty-seven. I cannot. Three hundred at base price. Fun. I cannot uh, talk with him right now. No, if somebody else is talking with someone, then you are not allowed to talk. Yeah, I can only listen in. <laughs> Sell that. Eventually, I will have a fireball. Maybe I can sell all of these kitchen pots I have to him. <laughs> uh, if you do give him stuff, then it will improve your attitude with them. 
or improve their attitude with you, and you will actually get uh, uh, a discount. Nice. Like just just at thirty five. Uh, I well plus a bartering of two. I have a discount of fifteen percent. Gotcha. So in fact, I have bartering, so you should let me uh, buy stuff for you because it will okay. always be cheaper for me. Um. So I should give you money. Give me all of your money. Just pile your money. gold on me. And then I'm going to give literally all of the sellable stuff to you. <laughs> yep. Uh, Izangi, let me let me get your money as well, if you don't mind. Um, Whisperwood, effects unknown, but that could be sold for 12. Uh, no, keep those for potions. Those okay. can make... Uh, any any kind of uh, plant can be made into a potion. Okay. What about animal hide? Uh, there is a whole crafting system with this game, so like you may want to explore that. Um, but generally, what you can buy is going to be better than what you can make. Gotcha. Um, um, but yeah, I, 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 I can't say for certain if like the animal hide is a is a good thing to sell. Sure. Um, I did read both of these books, but I didn't seem to get anything from them. Then you can sell them. Yeah, the, yeah. the true brew I, I did, but... Yeah. But I, did, I'm not can... sure about the dive by the sword one. Uh, I think I'd already read it. Uh, can someone confirm whether or not we have the fire... Thank, thank you, Fox. Can someone confirm... confirm whether or not we have the the uh, firestorm grenade. Um, I have it in my inventory. I mean, yeah, sorry, as a as a crafting yeah, thing. We have oh, as okay, a crafting so thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's my bad. I, I should have clarified. Um, uh, so you've already got contamination. Uh, yes. you got poison dart. Yep, those are the only two geomancy things I have. For now, we'll try and get just one skill for you. Uh, so that way we can buy skills for others, too. Sure, sure. Um, would you prefer fortify where you can give people physical armor? Uh, and that stacks with their current armor. You can push their armor past the maximum. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, th there's... There's differences between something saying it heals armor and it provides armor. Provides means it'll push it past the maximum. Gotcha. Heal will only go to the maximum. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so uh, you can get Fossil Strike. Uh, you deal earth damage and it creates an oil surface where it lands. Uh, or you can get Fortify where you provide 10 physical armor uh, and the target cannot be teleported. It also removes poison, bleeding, burning, acid, and decaying. Sorry, what what's the benefit that that one does again? It provides ten physical armor, so it it gives more armor, um, temporarily, but also uh, it removes five different uh, harmful status effects. Okay, pretty that much might be good as much like a, a supplement to my uh, healing spell. Yeah, it does get rid of burning, so yeah, that could be good. Yeah, I think that one just has more of like a support type build, you know? Okay. All right, got it and read. No. <laughs> uh, send to you. There you go. Cool. Okay, now. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba. Learn skill. Let's see, Stingtail is a traitor. I'm trying to remember what spells he has. Patience, Mal. Patience. Patience. <laughs> mm, but I have four of four memory slots used, so I should upgrade memory this next time, probably, in order to have that available. Aha, this man has fire stuff. So, I want to get at least one of these.
So I know you're talking with him right now, but it mm -hmm. still has like um, a red marker there for me. Do I specifically have to talk with him? You will get a unique dialogue with him. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Which unique dialogues can sometimes create circumstances where we can't get merchants back. So <laughs> we have to be gotcha. careful about that. Yeah. We we want to follow your story. We just have to be careful about who who we all talk to. Yeah, may, maybe do trading first and then have unique dialogue. Yeah, at the very least, uh, let's steal as much as we can off of them before they die. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. All of his fish bones. I'm gonna take searing dagger. Uh, hey, Azanki, I forget, you don't have thievery yet, right? I do have thievery. Uh, you want to come up and see if you can at least steal some gold off this guy? Sneak successful. How much do I try? Uh, it will actually, like, cap you off at a certain point. So just steal everything you can. Do you get an extra memory every level? No, you get uh, attribute points, which you can then use to increase uh, one or two of your attributes. And gotcha. every point in memory will give you a memory slot. Interesting, because I started with... Maybe it's I started with three spells, but had four memory slots. And then... I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe so. No problem, I've... Fox. What's up? I have stolen everything I can off him. Okay, good. Which are a couple of spell books and stuff. All right. Uh, get just get out of here. Sneaky <clears throat> fail. Hobbling my bony ass away. And uh, anybody who who is that standing? Uh, Crystal, you should also run. I should run. Okay. Yeah, if you're carrying anything on you that says stolen, you should not be near somebody looking for stolen goods. I don't think I have anything that's marked as stolen. Is there like okay. a specific indicator on the item? It just says uh, stolen. Yeah, it'll it'll say stolen. Okay, I'm not carrying anything stolen then. So let's see. So yeah. Oh, I wish you'd stolen the peace of mind skill. Oh, well. Well, I got uh, haste and ignition, so... Yeah, I've, uh -oh. I've got ignition already, but if you want to send me haste, I'll take that. Okay. Went back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, no, after a little bit, they lose interest, so... Should I go ahead and chat with them? Uh, no, hold off. There's still one skill that I want to get from them. Gotcha. But I need, I need a bit more money. Uh, Izagi, send me anything you think you can sell. Uh... Or you think that I can sell, rather. I don't think you can sell him his stolen book. No. Yuki you... has two bedrolls, and I think I'd like to get one of those. <laughs> because I don't have a bedroll right now. <laughs> I mean, it says these teeth are worth 105 gold. Wait, where? I just sent you the teeth. <laughs> oh my god, they are! Product yeah. of a very contentious, uh, conscientious toothbrusher. <laughs> Fine trophy of war. Okay, then. Don't ask me why I have teeth. Uh, I don't know if you can actually sell that to somebody, because I'm pretty sure we already have someone that has rain. Yeah, we've got Crystal, who who has rain, and you have to have a point in Hydrosophus to, uh, to learn it after that. Yeah. Our peace of mind. Uh, okay, we are good. I have all of the fire skills now. I also... Oh, yeah, I still have... Do I still have the gold I stole? No, I don't. I don't have any of the gold I stole out of his pants. Do some <laughs> spells take 
multiple yes memory slots um, okay some of the so let's see i believe source skills i believe uh take up two gotcha. i might be wrong i might be wrong there and we may just get source skills because there's so few of them um but i i also want to say that the skills that combine uh, that like take more than one uh attribute or like magic type more than one skill type you know what i'm trying to say here mm -hmm. I, I hope uh i believe those take two slots as well yeah like a, a dual magic skill right right like if if i had something that combined fire and geomancy then i'm, I'm fairly certain that that would cost more than one yeah we have clear mind whoa and you run away <laughs> <laughs> Hasted run. <laughs> and now, would you like to see a magic trick? Are you moving me somewhere? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Owie. <laughs> Ooh, there is actually someone that you should use your restore skill on. Ooh, uh, who? that guy right over there. That that that, that guy. Um, mm -hmm. can you ring reping? <laughs> right there. That dude. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, oh my goodness. Yep. I dead. I will do that. <laughs> yeah, he was beaten to brain dead. Yeah, he will refuse potions. He hates potions, but he doesn't mind if you use a heal skill on him. Go ahead and do it. Yep, go ahead. All right, and then I believe... I believe go ahead and talk to him. Okay. The man sleeps so deeply, he might as well be dead to the oh. world. Nope, okay, he's just super drunk now. Okay. I gave them a lot of liquor. Okay, so you, you already took care of that. All right. That is fair. I'm going to go talk to the <clears throat> Yes. Healing them to full. Okay. Hallowed is the house of war. So that lizard, I believe, is the one with all of the martial skills. Yes, he has all the warfare. Yeah. Body. Him sad. Rawhide, scale pants. I like how the Maybe. containers have health as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I shocked it, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Crystal. Yeah? Come over here. Okay. I'm walking to just in front of you. All right, uh, keep heading right. Weirdest keep... path. <laughs> All right, yeah. Keep heading down that way and go talk to Miko. I'll be right behind you. Uh, this guy. Okay. Uh huh. Really put it in enough blood to be confusing and disturbing. And who found? Who mysteriously found extremely heavy armor? Pain apparent in every movement. I am going to pick through the corpse. Screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. Hmm. You, 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 you. Indeed. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> Crossing my wires. Query. Where grows the yarrow? Mm. Mm. Quickly now, for I haven't much time. Where grows the yarrow? <clears throat> Take the yarrow plant from your pouch and offer it to him. The creature gingerly takes the plant in his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow Girl. Can it really be you? Can it really be me? I'm, I'm the Yarrow Girl now. <laughs> uh... Uh... Ask him why he was looking for that flower. Because I'm curious. 
Yeah. The creature clenches the plant tightly. His breath uh -oh. He seems liable to lunge at you at the drop of a pin. Rip. You wouldn't understand. A father's pride. A father's love. You're right. I probably wouldn't understand fully. <laughs> Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster. Why does he have an eight-point star on his forehead? Uh, there is actually a story for that. Um, in the in Divinity Two, you saw that sign. Uh, that is the sign of the damned. Um, mm. They followed. Uh, they they followed the son of Lu the the original son of Lucian. Uh, who was actually adopted, uh, his name was Damien, and he basically became the Antichrist. Oh, fun. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You meet him in in the second game. You resurrect him by accident in the second game. And, Oops. uh, yeah, it's... He's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> he's bad. <laughs> he, he, he's bad. <laughs> but, um... Uh... But yeah, the, the whole thing with the Damned is that they are the followers of Damien the Damned. Um, gotcha. Though, in Migo's case, he may not be a follower. They, but I, I can't say any more about it. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, continue. You, my ring, heart of me, name of Migo. Migo's Thank ring. You. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Now, things I found. now I'll let you know. Somewhere in the fort is uh, one I forget a magister. There is a magister by the name of Yarrow. You should probably go and speak to her. Pretty, pretty. Yarrow. Mm -hmm. So there's a flower named Yarrow, and then there's Yarrow herself. Mm -hmm. So within the fort proper. Uh, within the area that we can access. Gotcha. Okay. So do you mean so in this this outer outer area? I was about to remember where we were when those clowns tried to attack everyone. Over Jeez. the card game. Where we lit people on fire around there, ish. Did you? Uh, oh, you saw her over there. Yes. yes I, also, uh, you have a new hat and pair of shoes that I had left over. Okay. I am walking back over this way then. Do we need to visit the shrines in order to have like the um, teleport waypoint available to us? I want to say you just have to be near them. I don't think you have to speak to them, but I might be wrong there. Okay might be better safe than sorry yeah yeah also hi lisk and so that day Migo's heart grew two sizes too big <laughs> <laughs> two sizes too big um i found a website that allows for both twitch and youtube multi-stream functionality oh nice yeah, it is a site I have never heard of before, and I'm surprised that I did not because it's a very strange domain. <laughs> but it works, so. Um. Yarrow. Hey, Yarrow. Mm -hmm. You're a cop, but I'm still going to talk with you. <laughs> well, she's one of the people that isn't an asshole, I think. Well, it, she kind of starts off there, but you know. Spectacles, prone to somewhat eccentric chatter. I am finding random things to send to people. Dragon stamped into it. Hmm. She was a large bronze pendant with a dragon stamped into it. I do not know anything of that. Um. Recall the madman you met on the beach and say you may have seen him. Yes. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? Uh, describe where you met him, but caution her to be careful. There was something terribly wrong with him. And you're... you're very sure it was him? Hand her his ring as proof. Yes. She inspects the ring closely. You have earned the hero tag. 
specific hero options will be available to you from now on. Interesting. Hi, Uzi. Thank you for the posture check. Where did I put my water? I don't think I brought my water back up. Uh -oh. I brought tea up. This can't be. You said he was on the beach. Yes. Need to have a look myself. This simply can't be. It, it can't be! Um, and, and now we follow her. And she goes running. Uh-huh. How are you doing, Uzi? Are you excited for the tournament? Um, let's go over here. By the way, chat can hear me, yes? All, all of you, you all can, can hear me? Fox has been gone for a bit. I hope Fox is doing okay. Uh, said in Discord, uh, trying to get back as fast as they can. Okay. Oh, Uzi, if, uh, at, at some point, if you would like to do a friendly match, just to, to practice, test out your team, learn the game, then please feel, feel free to, to message me. I'm, I'm, I'd be happy to do, uh, to do some practice matches. Uh, and then I should talk with her? Yes. Pop, is that... Is that really you? Pop, is that really you? Papa! Arrow girl! Grown up, flower-headed girl. <laughs> Little Yarrow girl, grown up, flower-headed girl. What have they done? Hmm... I swear she kept her own father prisoner here. Didn't she know oh, what yeah, that, happened to him? That'll happen, Uzi. It it is not an easy game to just start off with, but I'm I'm more than happy to to help you out and teach you some of the basics. It took me like four different teams in the first game just to pick up how the game really played, and even then I could only play one game or one team successfully. I wonder if I can move this text box somewhere else, but, um, ask Church why... Page. Oh, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Uh, ask why she kept her own father prisoner here. Didn't she know what would happen to him? She looks at you with hatred etched deeply in the lines of her face. <laughs> Rip. I didn't want any of this. Uh, he's hardly human anymore. No. I, I always love the excuse of, I didn't want any of this. I'm sorry. You knew what was happening here. The yeah. fuck did you think was going to happen? The hero <clears throat> option. Whoever did this should be brought to justice. I, I do think that's true, but also like... Yeah, I, I do think that that's probably the appropriate response here. Uh, yeah, that either that or two. Like, e yeah. two at the very least is sympathetic to like... Yeah, I don't think you expected your dad to turn into this, so like I right. I am sorry for you. Right. <clears throat> I'd die a thousand deaths before I'd see this go unpunished. Um maybe we say two as well then? Yeah. She looks at her father and manages a small smile. As am I. Ask if she knows who's responsible for this. I've seen this kind of magic before. Some kind of strange treatment. Probably end up asking both, but there were always rumors yeah. about the hammer. The hammer. That is, what she was doing with the prisoners she hauled off to her fortress. Why they never joined the rank and file thereafter. Hmm. I suppose. I suppose now I know. It's strange. It almost reminds me of the creatures Gallus keeps at her side. Sometimes you hear a kind of muttering beneath their masks. Muttering beneath the mask. She reaches out to touch her father's hand. He withdraws it quickly before remembering himself and reaching out to Yarrow again. Hmm. I had no idea what a fool I am. Maybe, maybe this is one of those occasions in which, like, they truly just didn't no 
like they kind of knew something was going on but didn't fully know and and it's like this is the moment of awakening basically i <clears throat> i would compare this to and, and i do wonder if this takes inspiration from or this concept takes inspiration from world war ii the german people in fact yeah m most specifically the the german people who lived uh fairly close to the death camps like auschwitz mm -hmm. who like had an idea of what was happening but were being assured by their superiors the people they were supposed to trust that no nothing it's fine don't worry about it and it wasn't until they like actually saw it in front of them that they were like this is not what we wanted right yeah okay wait before you go oh before you go you've helped us a great deal today let me help Ooh, you a key. key take this key i'll show you whether you can use it it opens a door leading into the fort that may help you get out of this wretched place <sighs> nice <laughs> it isn't too late for you not yet not, not yet, yet. I think, <clears throat> funnily enough, I think one of the, the pieces of media that had the greatest effect on me about World War II was the movie Schindler's List. Mm -hmm. I, I think that it, it's, a really, it's a really great old movie that I, I would like to hope is as accurate to real life as possible. And that, like, I, I know... They, they portray Schindler in the beginning as somebody just trying to profit off of, oh, hey, I can have Jewish slaves in my factory now, mm -hmm. essentially, and make money off of them, and eventually learned, like, no, these are humans, and I have to, like, if I don't help these people, they're gonna fucking die, yeah. and I have to save as many people as I can, and, uh, I can, I can remember the, one of the final scenes when the, the war is over, and the <clears throat> they're finally able to like go home or try to rebuild their lives and he's just having a breakdown because he's like taking off all of his wealth his takes off his expensive watch and is like this is a person i could have saved and takes off his expensive ring and is like this is a life that i did not save yeah i don't I, know enough about schindler's list to know if it's uh realistic or not but yeah, I, I do know that he is actually credited with having tried to save people. He, he, it seems to have been more than just, yes, I was making money off of them. It, it seems to have been, he genuinely tried to save as many, as many Jewish lives as he could. Gotcha. Um, but I, but of course, like, realistically speaking, yes, he did also still profit off of them too. So it, it's a question of, how accurate is it? Is it true that he started off being really selfish and eventually learned to be better and tried to save as many people as he could because he didn't want to see them die? Uh, or was it a mixture of, I don't want to see these people die, and at the same time, the more of them come to work for me, the more money I can make off of it. Like, I don't know if it was, if it was entirely a... Um, charitable uh nature yeah. i'm kind of thinking of getting this level three staff for the quest reward because it's nine yeah. to ten fire damage instead of five to seven air damage yeah but take take whatever would work the best for you now, there will be there will be opportunities for us to get more stuff later. Gotcha. When it says the nine to ten fire or five to seven air, is that what the staff of the magus skill does damage wise, or? Um, I be yeah, I believe it's referring to the range damage and not the melee damage. I believe the melee it does that amount, but it's purely physical. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think. I think that's the most reasonable thing to choose. Okay. Accept. And then... Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about this place. <laughs> I I didn't I remember I didn't forget about it last time, but I did when when starting this back up. <laughs> so the target will take physical damage from healing spells and potions. Interesting. I sent some gold over to you. Okay. Hey, some shoes. 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 Just some tattered shoes, but shoes. Shoes. Um, I have an optional thing over in like this area. Over where? Sorry. I'm... Um, it, it's past the uh teleport statue. I I apologize. I'm not looking at your stream, so I don't know sure. where you're referring. And I and I also am. Focus in on a conversation so I can't Sorry. look at it. Gotcha. But yeah, if you want to listen real quick and then um, and then I can see where you're where you're thinking. Yeah. <clears throat> what what sort of matches are held here? You'll find out. Down the hatch, then. No, no. All right. I thought there was more to it. Okay. Okay. So where 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 were you talking about? Um. Ba, 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 ba. Over. You're standing. Uh, Izangi's standing there currently. Oh, Nabora. Yes. Well, Izangi's talking to her, so let's listen in on the conversation. Izangi, feel free to continue talking. I was about to end there really talking to her. I'm just sitting here looking through the inventory of stuff. Oh, okay. ah, I got you. I wonder what her... Oh, it just marks her as Nabora. Right, it doesn't mark the quest. It just says, over this way is a thing. Oh, that's all, like, the potential optional things are? Uh, at the very least, it, it doesn't tell you what quest line they're a part of, but it does mark that they're there. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go, I'm going to go grab that, uh, that glass of water that I meant to, to bring up. Sure. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. Um... Oh, shoot. There's a button on the statue. <laughs> I think I'm going to press that. Press its worn surface. You hear a strange sound. Like rusted hinges creaking and air rushing through a tunnel. A hatch appears behind the shrine. Huh. By a word, she has spoken. Lucian has spoken. The eternal prayer. It works. Worse than war, right? Um, something opened behind him? Over where I'm standing. No more now than a picture. Oh. There. Reduced to the mere representation of a man, as brittle as the paint on this canvas. Hmm. Are these sellable? They are not, so I'll just toss them out. I like how there is a stacking mechanic. <laughs> Tra <laughs> Butter. <laughs> Trader by the name of Butter. Don't try anything funny around Griff. 
I'm watching you. If it gets too high, you won't be able to do anything. If what gets too high? Uh, the stacks of things. Ah, gotcha. Well, he runs this place and everyone in it, including you. Including Better me. Better to make okay. yourself useful to him if you're stuck here anyway. That's what I did. Okay. Nice and slow. Camp Boss Griff. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did need so much. Lucy. <laughs> Yuki, you're back. Hi. I thought so you want to know something else that's kind of funny? You can Get still back sit as on a stool steps even if, You can still sit on a stool even if I found something else on it. Nice. Uh, I, I was focusing in on... Uh, uh, conversations with NPCs and, and so I didn't notice that you were back but well, welcome back go ahead and sit on a stool you can sit on a bottle while you're at it I will sit on I a stool welcome back sit, sit on a stool what uh, I uh, have a basket on top of a basket with a stool on top <laughs> Oh, uh, Liz, the contribution to the cult totem is for uh, the game Cult of the Lamb. Uh, when I get back to the game, it will uh, uh, give me just bonuses towards learning new buildings and abilities. It's a small, helpful thing. Hi, Fox. I hope you're okay. So as you stepped away, I pressed a button on the statue, and uh, this hatch to the underground opened, apparently. I don't know if that's dangerous or not. I am mad. Mm -hmm. Light headed, but it's fading. Glad it's fading. Ah, okay, I know, I know which one this is. Uh, we can go in there, but I would say not just yet. Okay. Instead, um, let's see. We should talk to Gowan and then go into the cave. Gowan. Yeah. Because there's... Gowan is a funny bit of a side quest. And then the in the cave is a side thing that relates to the main story. Okay. This painting in this. here... <laughs> it's like surprisingly realistic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to let you know, Gowan is the guy who told us to go after the crocodilians. Said he had a plan to get out of here. He's got a teleport spell, but he can't use it on himself. Hmm. And so, what he's going to do is have us use a teleport spell on him, and then he'll use a teleport spell on us to get us uh, to oh. safety as well. Oh, oh, that that'll definitely happen. You know? Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Starts in a little alcove. I'll show you where to go. And hurry, not a tick of the clock to spare. Oh, and it's time to go. Yep. Magister Atusa, the bloody giblets and skeletons on the ground. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is everyone else going to eat that? <laughs> <laughs> They're the good people. Atusa was the good people. Okay, through this area. Mm-hmm. We've been here before? Yeah, Fane's yes, over this there. This is where we Yeah. This is also where we got in trouble. Yep. yep. Hmm. Oh, there's a chest over here. Do 
taste the ale. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what a lot of people did in these times, was they drank. True. I think all of you should should back away. He wants to kill he, us. Well, no, he's only going to teleport me, and so, but I do actually need to be in his uh, sight range. Gotcha. I'll get that in a second. And good luck getting yourself yep. out. Oh, damn it. I just realized Gowan's the one with the air spells, too. <laughs> Rip. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll get spells soon well. enough. Intelligence. Um, wits. I can now speak to animals. You took that? Okay. Uh, very good. I'll take that point and arrow of the urge. If we listen into you with the pet pal skill, do we get to see the normal conversation? Correct. Yes. Okay. We, we get to see the conversation as Izangi sees it. Okay. Um, let's see. Apist, five star diner, glass can it nope. Uh mm. gorilla hothead. Hothead could actually be good. But I think you can crit with some of the spell stuff. Um reach living armor. Living armor could be good. Cannot we can't take Lone Wolf. Um I'm going to punch you, you furry little bastard. <laughs> Ooh. This one just seems good. Increase the range of skills and scrolls by two meters. Oh, yeah, that one is very useful. Because it's like 1.5 meters, and so that, like, literally doubles. <laughs> yeah. Burning, poisoned, bleeding, necrofire, acid suffocating, entangled, death wish, and ruptured tendons are affected by this talent. Um, <clears throat> I do inflict burning, so I'll take torture for now. I think I do that. I was about to say, yeah, I took Torturer as well, although I don't have magical spells. Yeah. I think I take the memory uh, this time. Oh, you get multiple. I, I forgot that you get multiple points in attributes uh, yes. per level up. I was like, oh, it's going to be like you get a memory slot and that's it, you know? <laughs> there you go, Fox, say, wait, down on the beach. There was also a chest up here that we could have grabbed. I think about it. Uh, where where is it? Oh yeah, it's over there. Um, but I have to be able to get back up there, and I was about I to say, send the gloves can't. to me. I can bring you up here. I think. But what if you betray me, like Gowan did? <laughs> <laughs> I am a skeleton. But there you go. That to me. Um, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you have a lot to live. Like. <laughs> <laughs> how how important is wit? For uh, find hidden treasures. Uh, it it can be very good. It will uh on it it is crucial to finding buried treasure. Okay. Um, it, gloves. Okay, thank you. And uh, it also um, what was it? Uh, it also lets you uh act sooner in combat. Right. Yeah, I do see the plus one initiative. Mage gloves and a lot of gold. All right. 
So gloves to Madge. Yeah, I'll do that for now. God, I hate these hats sometimes. Uh, let's see. Where did Fox go? Fox, you went into the cave, didn't you? Which is fine if you did. I just want to make sure where you are. Um, memory slots. I want fortify. In a place. Okay. I'm done applying skills to myself. Okay, I'm just waiting for this skill cooldown. Um, I'm going to send you down to the ledge below me. Then I'll send you the gloves, and if you'll pull me down to the ledge as well. Sure. Thank you. As I give you a bit of an owie. Owie. Ow, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> gloves of teleportation yes so you equip those and it gives you the teleport spell gotcha so you and then I teleport you down to the ground or to the ledge that you're on yeah either one I think just that we're not shuffling about as much that's fair alright and then if you'll send those gloves back I'm checking the oh, the hole lets you uh -huh. down. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why I said you could send me down to the ledge as well. I, I the hole yeah. just gets there. Um. Ooh. I don't know when I got these, but these seem a little bit better. <laughs> that was uh, Izangi sent those to you. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, because I found them in a bucket. Oh, disembodied oh, hand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nom. That's right, we're down here. Hello, Zillic. Also, there's an arm I found. Um, I have mug of beer over the top of the right-hand side, so... You thought hard on the location of your fortune before passing. Something you wanted... And then I can't see the rest of that. <laughs> There we go. You wanted an elf to find it. You urge whoever tastes your flesh to go and enjoy what you cannot. Interesting. <laughs> Welcome in. Hi. So this is the cave that we were entering? This is the cave it? that's... No, this is the cave that's down here. Um... But uh, we can get back up, back up to the uh, outer area. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here, listen, listen in on this conversation. Definitely. Yeah. No. Go on, help me. By the way, you can just click on a person's profile on the left if it shows a speech bubble, and it immediately yeah. focuses in. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize that, so I, I was saying <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> Scramble out, Lee. It's hot and busy out there. School and quiet in here. School and quiet. <laughs> used to be. Whatever's going on with you and your passenger, I don't really need it in my vicinity. Oh right, he's the. I have to talk to him as Los. He's my. He's my person. Oh. The I can see the. Rat. Can see the thing. See? Hey, sense. Good God, yeah. <laughs> used to be a sort of demonologist. Worth learning the arts, at least. Never did have much of a knack for it, to be honest. I love the idea that, like, in this world, magic powers are all completely learnable. But so demonologist? Yeah, that's just a job you could have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Studied under a real maestro, though. Learned this and that, too. Learned this and that. <laughs> Doubt it. Exorcism's a tier three skill. I was only halfway through tier one when I got thrown in here. But there may be something. I might be able to tell you exactly what's inside you. Mm. Might be any number of things. A ghost, 
A floater? Uh, a floater. A dreamer floater. Long term. God, I've got a flirt. I've got a floater inside of me. <laughs> <laughs> I may try something. He places a thumb on each of your temples and one foot gently on yours. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> got kicked back. Holy Thank your lucky stars. That thing hasn't turned you into a meat puppet by now. You need help. Serious help. Do me a favor. <laughs> Get out of here and hie ye to the north of Driftwood. My old master was hot on the heels of something there. And if anyone can help you, he can. I don't dare say it now. Not while your guest is listening. Mm. Don't worry. With something like that inside you, he'll either come to you or you'll be drawn to him soon enough. Very interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. There's a few ways to get out of here, and I seem to recall... I, Yeah, we, we entered one earlier. It's uh, over here. Is Anki, are you able to, uh, to open this door? Oh, this door off to the right? Yeah. I was Zangi speaking with her. Ah, oh, you fucks. We'll get my hands on you and then. Any minute now, come. Any minute. I'm sure. It's okay. I don't think there's a good. I don't think there's a way that that can go well. Yep, on to the next door. <laughs> What about the big door at the at the end of the hall at the other end of the hall? Of the giant hole over there. There are peoples. This guy's just decomposing over here. Yeah, he's he don't. Okay, I was gonna say don't talk to him yet. Let Crystal because Crystal was the one that uh, that saw what Atusa had to say. Elf skin is pale as a corpse's, but his face contorts. With inscrutable emotion, joy, horror, and rapture flash over a flash over him, changing surface of the pond. Interesting. His eyes lock onto yours. It's you. <laughs> it is. Beautiful thing for me to see before. He spasms suddenly. Yeah. They're eating holes in my mind. They're making tunnels. This is how she makes them. Oh, this is how she does it. But you... A single tear rolls down his cheek. I'm not the last. The bishop doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. I'm done for. But you... You... There's still hope. The text box no. didn't have all of it. <laughs> yeah. It's a little weird when it does that. Job. Get it? Yes, yes, of course you. You need to go, <laughs> Dallas. After she took me, she did something to my head. I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. Bye, bye, love. Tell him I say hello. They'll be make. They'll be looking for me. Tell them. Interesting. The elf's skin is pale as a corpse's, but his face contorts within. Oh yeah, now you can now you can yeah. speak to him. So yeah. Flash over him like the changing surface of a pond. His eyes lock onto yours. It's you. Tell the elf he's no kin of you, nor do you remember crossing paths with him. It's kind of. It's kind of rude. No, 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 it's you're, you. you're no it's can't you're no family to me. <laughs> you're a rotting corpse in the basement. As he spasms in pain. Uh, that I, sounded I sexual. <laughs> I'm sorry, that did not sound like pain. That sounded like he just busted in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the last. The bishop doesn't count. No, he doesn't count. I'm done for, but you, you, there's still hope. Who he thinks I he am. He screws up his face, as though trying to see a small dot on a far horizon. You? 
Why? No, everything. Everything. You need to go. Dallas, after she took me, she did something to my head. I feel like someone's rummaged their fingers through my skull. Get out while you can. Hmm. Put him out of his misery? Or try and get him out of here? It's up to you. I don't, I don't think if, like, he looks in very bad condition. I don't I, think we'd be I, able to get him out. I will tell you, uh, decomposing is a status effect for which there is no cure. Ah. Yeah. Because it's, it's a more advanced version of decay that is only applied to things by the power of plot. Gotcha. <laughs> he giggles coquettishly, then bellows like a bear. <laughs> Leave. Huh. Well, <sighs> poor bastard. What do you have? Nothing. Hey, that was my kill, motherfucker. <laughs> He's a rotten corpse. I don't care. It was my kill. <laughs> we can sit here and argue semantics, but all day. I mean, I mean, we can, or I can just shoot. No, I would, I would not I was about do that. Say, <laughs> what, poison. No, There's some fire. magisters over. Oh, I take less fire damage than you think. And Dolores is That's over here. Right. I'm yeah. gonna approach them. I, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, do it. Have fun. As it goes and saves. <laughs> you start bodying my own team. Why? Yes, Fox, you do. Oh, uh, real quick, hold on. Um, does, uh, Izangi, would you like to be on a flank? Where? Uh, I was about to, there's not much I can do at the moment. I am in right at me. chatting time already. There you go, buddy. Ow. <laughs> Crawling around inside the fort. <laughs> Took a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, no, I do not want to agree. Um. This is about this is as far as I can go. Don't. Yeah. Uh, a, as a word of advice, especially uh, to you, Crystal. If somebody is in the middle of conversation, do not sneak into that person's field of view, especially if they're potentially a hostile, because it will interrupt the entire conversation and start a fight. Gotcha. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I am at my absolute limit. Uh, one of the magisters upstairs is injured and asked you to come seek help. I don't think... Hmm. You can try. Live. Wouldn't advise him to. Say, let's go with the outlaw one. There's not a magister within a hundred miles who trusts one of your kind to deliver any kind of message at all. Any other tales you want to try? Go on. I could use a good laugh. Um, I think we tell him we're leaving and would advise him to not stand in our way. <laughs> That's almost cute. He looks you up and down. Too bad there's not a bit of meat to you. Guess my hounds will have to be happy with the bones. The hounds will have to be happy with the bones. <clears throat> oh my goodness, that is a huge range. <laughs> what spell um, is it? Uh, I can get literally all of them. It goes from the back of the room to me. <laughs> what? What is the spell? For rain. <laughs> I was about to say Oh yeah, yeah. Um, do I shank this person or do I? Dolores is fire yellow. So, so yeah, Dolores is a good guy. So don't hit him. Really? Um, okay. Also, Izanki. Yeah, you should go ahead and shank that person while okay. you got the chance. Okay. In that case, I probably won't use rain. Yeah, I won't use rain for now. At the, at the very least, if you want to put rain here, then that might work. Or, like, maybe target it closer to, to there. 
Yeah, so but this... I... Okay, this will get... Yeah, this won't get him. Yep, very good. Nice. And then I don't think Dolores is in the puddle. No, he, he no. is not. So then I select this and I poison that. Nice. nice. Well, I That's thought it would have gotten the other armor. guy as well. No, he's just outside the puddle. Yeah, but he also would have caught Dolores in it too. But he, but they do have to walk through it to get to us now, so they'll take damage every AP uh, for doing that. Hmm. Yeah, every I could strip away a lot of magic armor with my chloroform now. <laughs> I can strip away fourteen magic armor. Pretty good. Pretty good. For a single point of or a single action point. Yeah, okay. I I would say if if it comes down to it, hit the Houndmaster with that. But I'll try and get rid of his magic armor before you have to do that, because that Houndmaster sucks. <laughs> I was about to. I'm way at the end, so. Yeah. Soulbound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when he <laughs> dies, the Hound dies. Yep. <laughs> yep. He exploded his own guy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. And then the dog just went and blew up another thing. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to use up an AP to go there. Let's encourage. Um... You know what? Fuck it. Fox, you get additional stuff. Uh, and I'm going to give myself some additional magic damage. Nice. Ow. Owie. They gave me a... Fox, they gave me a boo-boo! Go -boo. kill them! I didn't expect him to... I probably would have cast the poison dart onto uh, the Houndmaster. Eh, it's alright. Yeah. If I had, like, you... like... I thought he was going to walk forward. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of glad that you didn't, because since it leaves a little puddle of poison, you might have hit Dolores with it. So mm, you got to be true. careful. Yeah, true, true, true. Oh. oh no! They can tell that you're undead! Somehow. Somehow, even though you're hiding it. <laughs> That's strange. <laughs> but it's also six turns in between for that, so it's not... Like, they're, they're not going to be able to do too much damage for that. Yeah. Well, they have been properly shanked. <laughs> Surrounded by enemies. You ain't getting away from me this time, motherfucker. I chloroformed your boss and shanked you in the ass. I, I don't understand how the top-down camera is that helpful. <laughs> uh, what's what's the button for it again? Uh, I, I changed mine, so... The basic one is O, I think. Oh, uh, so the top-down camera can be useful in certain situations. In this one, it might not be, but there might be situations where there's, like, a hell of a lot of stuff covering the side-to-side uh, -side camera. So, and yeah, it's for more precise placement of AOE, as Fox gotcha. says. Um, let's provides if 18 I... physical. Yeah, I was going to say, if I may make a suggestion. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. 
did did it fortify you? Yeah, I, I thought, mean, I I, I, could... I was I chose it to be on myself. Oh, I figured you would do it to Fox, who's right next to two melee people. You know, <laughs> that would have been wise. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to get myself to not be on fire anymore. <laughs> you, then I would, I would also, I would say, go ahead and use your healing on Fox. That way, uh, after the Houndmaster's turn, when yeah, Fox inevitably of... gets hit, yeah. <laughs> I should have done it the other way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, and now I can't target anything through there. Smoke cloud blocks vision. Um, at least I can't directly target anything in there, but I can do this. And ignite. Dark. Oh God. Glory. Uh, shit. Uh, how soon can you cast rain? Uh, five turns. Fuck. Uh, okay. Nope. I've got. I've I got have this. a thing I could potentially I, do. Uh, I have. I have it. No, I've. I've got it. I've got it. You may have to. Yeah. Yeah. I. I can't. I can't affect him as like this. Um. He's already burning. I'm gonna save this real quick. Just so that if this does hit him, it, I can reload it. Okay, no, we're good. Yeah. I forgot about the damn oil barrel. That was the problem. Yeah, it went boom. Oh yeah, Fox has a water barrel. Yeah, if you want to throw it down uh, to, to help out. Does it take an action to throw down a water barrel? Yeah, it takes, I think, an action to access your inventory. Steam cloud removes burning. I would like to argue mm -hmm. that steam would cause for you to get burned. <laughs> yes and no. Like, I get what they're talking about. It's removing the fire burning. But yes, if you have a cloud of steam, it's fucking hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a hundred Celsius. You're gonna get fucking burned. <laughs> um, I can't see Dolores at all, so I'm assuming that he's fine in there somewhere. He, I, I I can see him. He's he's alive, right about right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I think I yeah, I got him. Yeah. Oh yeah, that that can help as well. Yeah. Oh, and since he's not in combat, it's automatically running out. <laughs> oh, rip. It, it's okay. He should keep the magic armor, I think. Yes. Yep. 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 It, it restores it. Good. Nice. Delicious. Delicious poison bottle. Delicious poisson. <laughs> Shot forward. Uh I love that he just ran all the way around Fox to basically slash Fox from the same side. Yeah. I said they were smart. <laughs> uh, I cannot see there, so I will be moving up to... Oh, shoot. Um... I'm hoping to go up and blind those guys. Luckily, after this turn, the smoke cloud will go away, so just be careful about getting too close to them. Yeah, anything gotcha. that anything that does not have a specific target requirement can be used through the cloud. It's just anything that has to be targeted, uh, you you can't use it. Yeah, I'll help a zombie up here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ow. Oh god, this is not where I wanted him to be. Oh. Well, uh, call that in early, that's okay. I'm alright with this. Also, I need you to fuck off back into the fire. <laughs> oh. That is the great thing about teleport is you can you can use teleport on anything. Objects, enemies, allies. You can nice. only the only thing you can't use it on is yourself. <laughs> I have one more turn to give buffs to people again. I probably should have used Fortify on the first turn. Eh. That's something I need to get used to. Uh, I mean, it actually is not as important as you think. It, it is actually better to wait, uh, simply because the Fortify does get rid of status effects. Right, yeah. Ooh, that particle effect was really pretty. <laughs> you know what? You're really pretty. Wow. <laughs> Just the prettiest hair. Thank you. I, I do love your hair. It is great. I like it a lot, too. <laughs> Wouldn't pet the crystal? Ah. <laughs> I would I would head pet the crystal. Head pets. Um. <laughs> I would say hit the bloody. archer up there. He's the only one that of us hasn't been hurt yet. To the upper right, you're saying? Yeah, the one next to that poison puddle. Yeah. I mean, then I... again, if we can if we can kill the hound master, then that will skip his turn. Right. Sure enough, that's true. Yeah, and he hits hard. It's it's best. It'll also unsummon the source hound, so that'll give me and Fox basically. It'll it'll go straight to our turns. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Synergy. Yeah. Yeah, I can do this. Yep, he the the swordsman's in the way. <laughs> oh shoot. Um, do you have the daggers, the poison daggers? Um, no, that's one more turn. Uh, I can use my touch, uh, the scroll of decaying touch. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, so let's see. It's one point for that. So if I move to there and then do. Uh, I have to be in touch range. Because it's decaying touch. So never mind, I cannot do that. Is there blood under him? Uh no, there's only no. Uh, yeah, only only one environmental effect at a time can be in a location. Gotcha. He's not gonna take nearly enough to burn him to death. Do you have enough AP to run up and smack him? Nah, I have one AP left. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think so. Um, I, I'm just gonna get back out of there. Yeah, you might as well. Sorry about that. Yeah! Attack of opportunity! He tried, <laughs> he tried to come after us! Woo! <laughs> Excellent. I on the swordsman's ass. Uh, let's see. So coincidentally, I chose the correct person to attack. <laughs> <laughs> let's give that to you. That to me. Those three to him. Two more so turns until I can heal. Okay. There's a uh, a meme that somebody shared in another server that I have I have to share this. It's um 
a scene from from Morbius, from Marvel, Marv, uh, sorry, from Marvel's acclaimed hit, Morbius. Acclaimed hit. <laughs> <laughs> but it it says, don't you get it? It was never about Morbi you or Morbi me. It's about Morbi, Morbi us. us. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Don't die up there. I make no promises. Don't <laughs> die up there. Oh, I can't heal myself. I know, I know. Uh, yes, <laughs> I know. I could heal you now. No. no. You would oh, do you have the poison? Do you have the poison? Yeah, yeah, I, I have the poison dart. Oh, oh yeah, but Izangi is right. Uh, you would also blow him up because of the uh, burning, so you just take that damage away. Ah. Uh. Um... It's two turns until rain. Now just focus on... Yeah. Kill... You, you could kill the archer and the swordsman with the... Actually, you get one dagger. I'd say... Kill the archer. The archer is going to have... The... The archer is going to have a turn before Fox and Izanki, so kill the archer while we can. Um. This one here. Interesting. Um, I can't move right now because I'm crippled status effect wise. Um, let's see. Nine to. If I poison dart this guy, he'd explode, right? Say that again. This guy right in front of me, if I poison dart him, he'd explode. Yeah. Or not. Or just die. Or he, or he just died. Uh, what the hell that happened was an to interesting his... ragdoll. <laughs> yeah. He decided to fly for a second. <laughs> um, I'm still crippled, so I can't move. That ranger is out of range for me, and I can't walk. So I just have to attack this guy here path is interrupted because yeah. he's at an angle yeah yeah um i think i just end turn yeah i can't really do anything else Ooh. Ooh. problem Uh Yeah, we need to we need to get you some more abilities from the um the warfare guy. Yeah, and I I should have I did also make a mistake that combat for her. Ooh, three warfare, nice. It's, nice. It's Morbin time. Morbin time. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna morb. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> uh, thankfully, I decided to hide in the steam. <laughs> steam <below. laughs> TOS. Uzi, I don't even care about the TOS. <laughs> Oh, if I can be, if I can be horny on main on Twitter, then I can be horny on main on Twitch. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna go up here. Every point in warfare gives. Oh, I forgot it gave a HP as well. That's pretty nice. Uh, I think that was Constitution, not warfare. No, I know some of the um. Uh, some of the the stuff. Oh, uh, it gives extra things. Oh no, what? It doesn't, that is a skill. Oh, okay. Oh lord. Lish. <laughs> Lish uh, has, has redeemed Grubber the Orc voice for five <laughs> minutes. It also says, Kate, go be horny Grubber then. <laughs> I guess Osh can go be Grubber the Horny Orc. <laughs> <laughs>
talent picture of elf. Right. Takes zero AP to climb up or down the ladder. <laughs> Magic. Magic. Yeah, okay. I think I'm leaving it at this. And with the angle I'm at, he can't attack me right now. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> nope, he can he can just change his angle ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. It's okay, eyes can blow him up. Nice. He can take he can take some fucking damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> Six points. I'd say don't waste the health potions right now because, like, he's gonna die in the next round. Yeah. So just hide behind a wall. Yeah, hide behind a wall and and let Crystal shoot at him. Pew pew. <laughs> pew pew. Daka daka. Sounded less like an orc and more like. I can't think it. No, I can't think of the name of the character now. There we go. Now it'll loot. Nothing. To. Uh, Fox, I've got a shield for you that you're gonna like. There you go. Oh, you are healed up already. Yeah, there's the uh, the rest thing. Oh. It's all right. Okay. Don't forget, don't forget to heal Delarish. Uh, yes, I will do that as soon as I can. Um, could I? I I noticed that you have two bed rolls. Could I perhaps get one of those bed rolls? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't have one right now. Could, please, please, sir. Could I get a bed roll? <laughs> um, I mean, they only cost half a point of weight. Uh, they're not that heavy, so I think we can just pass them out to everyone. Uh, apparently, you can reach into other people's bags and just say "gib" <laughs> <laughs> and 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 just take it. Oh, oh, Izongi, speak to Sir Laura. I already did talk to the little bastard. So oh, I did. Do... Want to punt him? Oh, I didn't get to see it. Um, you. I guess because he's not talking to me, so, and he's following me, so. The color oh, no. back into the magister's cheeks. And oh, we can now look. Knit together into solid like flesh. Wounds knit together into solid flesh. I, I feel it at work upon me already. Thank you, my friend. Uh, tell him he wants to know how to escape the prison. Tell him he's welcome. No one deserves to die alone on the ground. Or take your leave. <laughs> um. Uh. Probably the latter. Be... Tell him he's welcome. No one deserves to die alone on the ground. <laughs> Separates you from the divine we got order. one rotting corpse, a smoldering corpse, and a, an electrified corpse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say, generally speaking, being nice to people in this game is not a bad idea. Right. <laughs> there is a waterway. A boat. Hand me a map. It isn't far. It isn't far. Okay. You'll meet some associates of mine. Tell them Madame Zur sent you. And they'll let you pass. Ooh. How many associates he has working against the Divine Order? <laughs> Say he doesn't look li much like a Madame Zor. Okay. <laughs> um, ask how many associates he has. Are there magisters? Uh, yeah, I think I'll ask about enough the associates. Matter, not enough to stage a coup. The Void Woken have people terrified, not only for their lives, but for the very air they breathe, the sun that shines upon mm -hmm. 
Hmm. There's a cave. and Alexander offer a solution. People need solutions at a time like this, no matter the consequences. So to give to give a bit of context as to why people are so afraid of the Void Woken, it is true that the Void Woken are drawn to any use of source. Mm -hmm. um, now, thankfully, that does not become a game mechanic as we use our source powers. I <laughs> wish it was, but it does not. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah in, in law, if you use even a little pinch of sauce, then the Void Woken can smell it and will come after you. Gotcha. But uh, there's also the fact that in the first game, uh, we saw what what started all of this: the Void Dragon at the end of time. The Void Dragon. Yeah. So right, very early in the game. Uh, you you go to a place outside of time, and you speak to a little. I'm trying to remember. Are they are they actually called gremlins? I think they are. Gremlins. Um, gremlins, <laughs> and uh, they they're great. I love the gremlins so much in lore. They're basically World of Warcraft goblins, but um, but better. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he tells you that he is the chronicler of all of history. Uh, it's his job. He was tasked by the gods and given immortality to go throughout all of history, recording everything that ever happens in the entire universe, ever. Ever. <laughs> and uh, But there's one area that he can't go to, but he can see it. And so he shows you in his telescope. And, uh, yeah... He shows you the end of time, where there's a giant fuck-off dragon eating all of time. Excellent. And yeah, that's the Void Dragon, the father of the Void Woken. Void Daddy. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and he um he does he does not like source people, which you'll find out why. Well, you've gotten some hints about it mm -hmm. uh, already, but yeah. Um. I'm assuming Madame Zora is just a code name. <laughs> the Void Dragon has zero drip. <laughs> zero drip. <laughs> I don't know. His minions drip pretty much, pretty hard. <laughs> you know, the Void dripping off them. <laughs> um, do we ask about Madame Zora? Yeah, do it. Yeah. No, I imagine not. She's the headmistress of an orphanage in the far north. Mm. She keeps sorcerer children safe from the divine order. I can think of no nobler soul in all the realm. Interesting. With her help, we've saved countless children from Dallas and Alexander, and we aim to save many more. Dallas just makes me think of Dallas the town in uh, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> You've given me a second life. I won't soon squander it. Or forget what you've done. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Debbie does Dallas. Armor Frost Scroll. And off he runs. <laughs> no, you can't get. Okay. But there, there's another way out of this place that doesn't involve going straight into the fortress, so we can get back out to the shops and all of that. And it's past this lady. Is there uh, a good way to change the order of your spells and stuff on the bottom bar? Yes, so directly to the left of your bar, hold on, Nishungi. Directly to the left of your bar is a lock symbol. If you click that, it unlocks the bar, and you gotcha. can change the stuff on it. Okay. Fox hug. Um. Slowly pushing Fox into the corner to hug. <laughs> I don't know what Break the Shackles does. Oh, it's for source points. Okay, so we need to get access to source before that's available. Wait. 
You have a chat? You have an ability for it? It's it yeah, it's an ability called break the shackles. Remove the following negative statuses from yourself. Silenced, slowed, crippled, chilled, shocked, plague, suffocating, atrophy, diseased, infectious disease, uh and shackles of pain. Not enough source oh. points, source muted, can't cast. Right, that's that's your character's special source ability. Mine is maddening song. I sing, causing enemies in the target area to become mad. Maddened characters will attack those nearest them, regardless of alignment. Hmm. Okay. Got my abilities sorted out. Did we already grab any feet and Take heads or whatever? Uh, Izonki had a few. Or saw a few, at least. Yeah, I'm seeing each back. of these bodies as being empty, so... Yeah, typically the people that we actually kill are not going to drop stuff that you can eat. Gotcha. Okay. Reasonable, I guess, though. Why <laughs> wouldn't I want to know about their life, you know? <laughs> Just like, oh god, this fuck-off elf is uh, about to kill me. <laughs> Are we going out this way or is this some is there something else we should be doing first perhaps? Uh hold on. Because this seems it might be an escape path. So over this way is actually kinda cool. I like this area. But first is some healing shrooms to get. And there are a few other treasures around here. Uh, hold on. Is that actually connected? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can get back around there without having to teleport everybody. I see a charred corpse. There's a few of those, you know. From the, it's it's from the fire slugs. Ah, yes. I, I see them now. Something's up ahead. But it's okay. Uh, Izangi can speak to them. Oh. The slime beast. Oh, no. God damn it. Rip. Well, that's a lot of damage. I did not think that it would do that as soon as I walked up, and I apologize. Um, let me see. Thank you. I'm not in combat technically, so I can just keep. Oh, just... I'm now in combat. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I went and healed you, and so that put me into combat. <laughs> See, I can't use my abilities against him. I'm fairly certain it heals them. Yeah, 150% resistance, so it heals them. Fox, take that. Uh, you know what? You take that. So be oh. careful with be careful with anything that could explode. Any fire damage will heal them. Gotcha. But they, they will only heal for half of the damage. And actually, the time has gone by, so I don't have to keep talking like that. But yeah. But I wish this game has jump like Baldur's Gate. A good jump skill would be really nice. So, there is something like that, actually. Uh, if you get wings, either through the polymorph spell, or I think there's a piece of equipment that can do it, then you can get a jump-like ability.
Bleed fire. That's the status you have on you right now. Bleed fire. Mm-hmm. Target bleeds fire when I get hit. Hmm. Fire resistance minus 20% as well. Yep. Hmm. I got the hiccups. All right. Go after the big slug or hold off? I would say hold off the ramp, Fox. Yeah, where, where you are right now probably will be the best, because we can't see through that smoke cloud anyway. And when you're... Yeah, when your armor goes away, I can uh, replenish that. I wish we had found the person that has ice skills. This would have those would have been really good for this area. Uh, I can't use my staff of the magus. Um. High ground. Now I will say, they take only half of the fire damage that that you cause to them. So if you do, like, shoot them with poison and it does explode, then they will still overall take more damage from the, uh, from the, uh, poison. Right, but I shouldn't use my Staff of the Magus, which is only fire damage. Correct. That, that will heal them. Yeah. Um, and then... Should I use Fortify on you, Canuda, or no. try and... Uh, no? no? Okay. This thing's mostly going to do magic damage to me. Okay. <clears throat> Same for Fox down here? I would... I would... Yeah, I'd save Fortify, because uh, it... For me, it doesn't help bleed fire. It, it helps burning. Gotcha. Um, so if something sets Fox on fire, then that'll be a good time to uh, use Fortify on Fox. Gotcha. I'll probably just do a Flesh Sacrifice for some points and then... Um, yeah, I can't... Um, I think I gave my other staff to you earlier, or is it still in my bag? Yeah. You, you did. Okay. That is true. We can also move into the steam to get rid of fire as well. Well, I got it now, and... I'm equipping that to myself. Yeah. And, okay. I can actually just... That took no action points to pull something from your inventory <laughs> and then attach it to myself. <laughs> well then. Good to know. And I'm suddenly back up at four action points? I don't know how that happened. You were uh, at the end of the turn and the start of the turn. Mm, okay. Because when, when you join a combat by using an action on someone in combat, it puts you at the end of the round, and then it sets you to your normal initiative, gotcha. which in this case is the top. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Stunned, bitch! Let me nice. just do that. Just a little and bit coiled up there. <laughs> over there. Um, it's two turn and two turns until I can use rain. Okay. I don't know if I should even get close enough to fight that thing. I mean, we're gonna have to. Well, might as well try and strip away some of the armor. Yeah, there, there's very little that I can do here outside of buffing stuff. I can try to blind some things. I'll, I'll try to go down and, and help Fox. Yeah, that'd probably be good. Should I... Would using rain 
destroy the smoke that's over here? No. No? Okay. I, I just didn't know the mechanics of that. Yeah, un unfortunately, no. Uh, there, sorry. When there, when I said an environmental thing, uh, there can be a cloud and a thing on the ground. Gotcha. But I know, like, water onto fire creates steam. Yes. So, but since there's nothing on the ground, it doesn't replace the smoke with steam. Correct. Which I don't think blocks vision. Steam does Steam not block for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Do they have opportunists? Yes, they do. Of course they do. Just like everything else in this damn game. Everything. I I'm just trying to I was trying to see if the fire slugs have opportunists, and of course they do. Everything that isn't you gets starts with it. Yeah, and I hate that. That, that's that's one thing that I don't like in any games, is if they're going to work off of the same systems, then it has to be fair. Is there a good way to check, like, if you'd be able to see something from an angle? Not really, no. Mm. Can you see Fox from there? Um, yes for like abilities and stuff you could see fox from there i i believe so because i can affect fox with encourage and if i can't see things then they can't get encouraged okay but we'll know for certain on my next round gotcha in that case i'll move here Just wanted to use some of my action points so I didn't have stuff burning away, you know? Yeah, I I think what it is is it's... Okay, so some stuff is out of sight, but I think what it is is if we're higher up than the smoke, then we can see past the smoke. Gotcha. I just wanted to be in position to use fortify if needed. Okay, um... Let me do... This feels like a good time to get to where I can somehow do this. Must resist the high ground joke. <laughs> God damn it, Fox is exactly out of my vision no matter where I am. Fun. God fucking damn it. Because unfortunately there's that smoke cloud. Yeah, but and like, I can see... I can see next to the slugs, but not the slugs. Hi, Ducky. <laughs> I was not aware that everything is on fire, Ducky. Big mystery. Uh, Ducky, we're fighting fire slugs. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I, I just wasted a turn trying to, trying to help out. Rip. Uh... Fuck it, I might as well come down here. I can resist more of their hits. This next turn I can use rain. It is pretty cool, Ducky. It is a turn-based RPG uh, called Divinity Original Sin 2. Though I will warn you, there's also a lot of reading. Like, a lot of reading. <laughs> I like that there's... Fire slug, fire slug, courteous fire slug. Yeah. <laughs> More like Divinity Original Lore, too. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of lore. It is a lot of lore. The lore. <laughs> Half the reason this game is takes as long as it does is just because there is 
so much fucking lore. I was about to say, yeah, dump water down on them. Yeah. I um, think I can hold out against this one up here for a second. I can get us up he here as well. I nah don't dump oh. the water on them mainly, yeah, because that'll help out. It'll put steam down. Yeah. Um, and then let's go ahead and you are out of sight for me. Yep. Don't don't. Yeah, don't don't try to to move around to get that sight. I can tell you okay. it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean by the little speckles there. Help yeah. Me, help me try and kill the royal bitch up here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's a she's a fairly big threat. I imagine um, knock 40 points off her, so Um, there's no wetness up there, so. Well, there was, but then she got, she was still shocked, and so she got stunned. Yeah. No, I, I mean, with the rain, there's no wetness on the ground. So I can't, oh, like, yeah. contaminate the ground. Yeah, yeah. That That's what I was getting at. Um. Well, it would have exploded anyway, because all the fire. Yeah, yeah, but but still. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's not really anything more I can do from right here. Um. Yeah. Do I move down into the... Uh, it, no, I, I should focus up here, right? Yes, you should focus on, on the big lady. Okay. Um. Water right there. That is not in range. Okay. So I'm going to move to... There. And then water. I think that caused a bit of damage to them. Uh, no, it would have healed them because that that's fire. Is it only when I they walk was... that they so, get poisoned? Uh, so... Hello, Scorpion. Um... If they walk on poison ground, then yes, they would get poisoned, and they'd take poison damage. Gotcha. Uh, but you also do hit them with poison using contaminate. Um, but the main problem is that they constantly exude fire. Uh, any ground that they are standing on is fire. Gotcha. And so hitting them with poison just causes a whole load of fire to spread everywhere, and if they walk on it, they get healed. Gotcha, gotcha. Also, I'm I didn't ever notice that. Oh, you can apply it directly to enemies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that didn't register. I thought it had to be applied oh, to the so ground. Take that haste. I'm gonna blind them, or it'll be blocked. That's fine. How are you doing, Scorpion? See, we've got a femboy in the game, and then we've got a femboy in chat. <laughs> Making sure she can't do shit. <laughs> Sleepy. Rogues single-handedly taking out small bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, does it smell like chloroform to you? I don't have a sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> It's interesting that there's separate physical and magic armor. Like, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. 
but like one piece of armor providing both pieces i i like that it does that because like there is still very clearly a separation between heavy armor cloth armor and medium armor because heavy armor gives more physical and less magical uh but i still love that it does do that because it it allows you to mix and match more fully and i i really like that gotcha so yeah you can you can have a mage that's just all decked out in heavy plate mail okay i was about to say don't attack her because that would break the sleep which would give her Ooh. the turn i think yeah yeah if she has a turn coming up then it would yeah her yeah, turn is right next, so she, okay she would get her turn yeah yeah and i think you can do more damage than i can uh yes i think so um your health isn't that bad no i'm i'm pretty good i'm standing in a poison cloud oh okay yeah yeah um hmm That is a long way. How do the poisonous vapors affect me? I am both. <laughs> <laughs> True. I mean, the same way that drinking poison would affect you. <laughs> you win this round. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <sighs> There's not really anything I can do right now. and My per turn just kind of gets burned. Uh, let's see. See. Fox is shocked. That... If I apply wet, then it'll stun you. I don't think restoration applies wetness. So it does not. Do yeah, you're good. There you go. Yeah, it's just regenerate you know what fox take a little bit more damage as well i know right one health and you missed I you missed know. with really? a cannon <laughs> When it gets around to my turn, I can very yeah, easily kill it off. Anyway. Oh yeah, it's poisoned. Yeah. Although this, I am still. Would you be able to hit that slug down there? Um, I can. It says path is in yeah path is interrupted. Oh, yeah, I no, see that, no, but. No. If you I might move... be able to, yeah, you might be able to move closer to the cliff and uh, and might be able to see it that way. Like yeah. maybe getting to about yeah there. Nope, path is still interrupted. Uh yeah, it's it's this outcropping right here. Yeah. yeah. Um. Your slug is about to be choked to death on poison. I'm going all the way over here. I am warm. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're on fire. It, it said warm though, so. <laughs> I don't have enough range Smoke to attack cloud. it. Smoke cloud. I can do this though. Yeah, that works. Bam. I wanted to use Staff of the Magus, but poison dart works. I am slightly toasty. Roasty toasty. <laughs> well, I think there's a puddle around here somewhere I can step into. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of poison puddles I'm seeing around. Or poison clouds, I guess. You know what? Izangi, since you just finished with, uh, with that one, here you go. Take another one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Like, yo, um, 
the character with the two wands that is on fire right there on your screen, that is me. Uh, standing next to me is Muted Fox, uh, who is playing a custom lizard character who is our tank and melee person. Uh, up there is, if the camera would stop jerking around, up here is Izangi, the undead lizard who is on fire. Uh, he's our rogue. And over here is, also on fire, is Crystal, our elven uh, wizard, who is playing the legacy character, or origin character, Sabeel. And I'm playing the origin character, Los. Let's see. We do that. And then also do that. Ah, oh, jeez, I should have healed myself at the end because I put myself back on fire. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I was like, Skeleton. okay, we, we heal, and then we use this ability, and then we <laughs> use the poison ability. Oh, explosion. Right, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 Crystal head pat. Ah. One day... <laughs> One day you'll get it. Head pad, head pad. <laughs> like, there's, there's a lot of intricacies that I'm learning. <laughs> I'm trying oh, yeah. to get un un unfired. Uh, yeah, you, you... You weren't gonna make it that way. And I have... I personally don't have anything to help you. Yeah, if you ran the other way, I could have used Fortify on you to put out the I fire. I can step on that puddle in front of me. There is water there, yeah. Uh, I don't think stepping into the puddle helps you. You need the steam. I'm pretty sure I can cover the distance. Best of luck. Just be careful because there is fire directly in front of us. Let me move out of your way here. Yeah, no problem like you. Do that. I'm going to move a little bit this way. Okay. Ah, attack of opportunity. No. Yeah. Rip. Um. Attack of opportunity has happened, so I'm. You're you're good to move now. now. Yeah, okay. you're safe now. Well, that sucks. Um. I'm gonna die if I move though, so I'm gonna just use a healing potion. Yeah. I was gonna try and move to fortify myself so I wouldn't be burning. Nah, best that you did that. There you go, with three health left. Huzzah. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, be careful wherever you go, because there's fire behind all of these things. Yeah. That's why I was going to hide in the steam cloud to let myself heal. Really? Oh, it's a hill. Cloud. Oh. No, it's not that. It's the hill. Yeah, there's just, like, the smallest little hill here. <laughs> like, if you're far enough up, it looks flat, but it's not. Encourage! Encouraged. Not me, but, you know. <laughs> Ankle high. Hey, I can't see that. <laughs> so true. <laughs> there's, there's a knee-tall fence. I can't possibly climb <laughs> over this. It's an incredible barrier. An incredible architectural feat. Ah, oh, jeez. I love that, um... There, there's a game called, an old game called Mark Lung Revenge of the Bitch that uh, makes fun of all sorts of different game tropes, especially uh, silly game tropes, such as minor obstacles blocking your path forward. And it just puts <laughs> the wildest shit in front of you. Like, there's a chair in the way. You can't move a chair. 
<laughs> only only a feng shui master can move a chair. Um, uh, or there'll be like a grand piano in your way. <laughs> I think the only way I don't die here is I use the decaying touch scroll. Yeah. And then it. I have a two thirds chance of. Uh... Yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bam. Nice. Um, I'm getting out of the fire. Uh, and then I'm putting my fire out. Fortify. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at two. <laughs> Got a rain spell? Um, yes, I do. Um. Nope. Mine, bitch. <laughs> bedroll. <laughs> Oh, I make the kill and I lose the loot. Hey, hey, who killed the other guy and you stole his shit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, here, th this shirt is actually pretty good for you. So there you go. Um, who, does anyone here have, uh, summoning? I'm guessing no, right? I don't actually, believe so. This shirt would be better if I was, or someone was using a bow. Plus, it's well, more like yes, but armor. it's yes, but it's a medium armor. Um, well, then again, what fox? What's what's your what's the armor on your shirt? Ah, well, yeah. In that case, it might be good to send that to fox. I was about to say, yeah, I was thinking send that over to a tank who needs the armor. Oh, that that is fair. Now his titties won't get torn off by everything. <laughs> Let's That's another fire slug. Yeah, Ooh. that one will that one will also be hostile to us. That page turn animation is really cool. Page turn animation? Um, I, I opened up a, a book. And it, it's ah. like your mouse gets close to the corner and then it kind of catches the page and starts turning it. Ah. Uh, okay, this slug did not see the fight happen and so it is not hostile to us. Neat. Nice. Can you talk with it? <laughs> I probably could. Yeah, Izanki, you should be able to. The princess. Her crown was taken from her long ago by Brackus. You would know that if you were who you claim to be. Wait, wait. Uh oh. Yep. 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 So, to give a bit of context for this whole encounter, uh, if we had been able to. Actually, I, I should explain some lore from the first game. Uh, in the first game, based a thousand years before this game, uh, you play as a pair of source hunters. They are basically witch hunters who hunt down evil sorcerers. Um. Chief amongst those sorcerers was the evil king Bracchus, uh, who by the point by that point uh, had already been long dead. Uh, it is also revealed, however, at the end of the game that the Void Dragon is Bracchus Rex. Mm. Uh, either that or Bracchus Rex is like riding on him. I don't remember. It's something something to do with Bracchus Rex. But Brachus Rex was an extremely evil, extremely powerful sorcerer. Uh, and the Royal Fire Slug was actually one of his, um... Wives? No, potential wives. Um, when he decided that he did not wish to marry her, he turned her and all of her courtiers into fire slugs and just kept them down here. Huh. And they've been down here for thousands of years, thinking that one day Brachus Rex is gonna is gonna come back for her. Miss. 
Okay. Um... I shouldn't use the poison ability because that would cause an explosion, and that is not a good idea. <laughs> um, I'll do this. That is correct, like, yo, he turned them into long-lived slugs, and any person who came down here, they burned. Hmm. That's probably how they, uh, managed to get their food, was any person who came down here, they burned. But, uh... The other, the other thing about uh, Fort Joy is that it is an old uh, fort of Brachus Rex because this island used to be the home of Brachus Rex. This is his land, and we're just sitting on it. Um, I think I'm moving to like there. Yeah, I, oh. I want, I know. Lisk could answer this better, or Iggy could. Iggy played through uh, the first uh, Divinity Original Sin. I want to say the final fight of the game is with the Void Dragon, who turns out to be Brachus Rex. You kill the Void Dragon, and that gets the attention of the Void Woken. Let me tell you, fighting just one of these instead of three of them plus a big one, it's a lot easier. <laughs> I don't Action. know what it is, just something about it. Action economy, yeah. Uh, actually, it is, let's see. Yeah, 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 right. This, this is a good place to take a quick break. Yeah. Okay. So we will, we will take a quick bathroom break and we will be back. Sounds good. Um, do we need to, like, close out of the lobby and then come back, or...? No, no, we can just sit here. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's sure. a little thing to sit on over here. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can just stand around, do whatever. It doesn't really matter. I am sleeping and healing. <laughs> My chest. Okay. Anyway, I will be back. Yeah, I will also be right back. Yeah, folks, I'll be right back, um, you know, in like two or three minutes, something like that.
Hello, hello, folks. I am back. I have also returned. Their skirt is always flipped up. <laughs> Yeah, same. That's weird. <laughs> it's facing up, yeah. Car carpet? I cannot take carpet. I can take Boy. cooking pot, though. I've made it this far, now there's only a little length of ground to cover. I hear them talking. Uh, these strange creatures, one is royal, I believe, the other is her disciples? But from what I can tell, they've been locked down here a long time. My strategy is stealth, I'll sneak past them during one of the royal's more impassioned speeches, and they'll likely not even notice me. Home, to Carvo, to Rusket, to my farm again. just read a very like detailed note about how they were planning to sneak past the fire slugs Oh, Azangi, you can probably talk with Sir Lor uh Sir Laura now. And also the other cat that follows us. If that cat's still alive. Uh, I think he's somewhere else. I okay. Know where the hell he is. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to put that out. <laughs> didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Did you try the big locked door back at the start of the area? It wouldn't let me open. Gotcha. Ooh, I do have the Magister's key, though. I wonder if that would work. Um, I'm debating backtracking to see. Think the door down there is levered controlled? I'll take a look. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, not that one. It's over here. Oh, I see the lever. Yeah, it's lever controlled. Or it's probably lever controlled anyways. I wonder, since there's the ladder here, I'm assuming that's the spot that comes down from the warp point? The squirrel's nose twitches as you approach, but the creature turns away before you can say anything. It seems he doesn't want to talk to you. Um, so look, looking at, uh, I, I'm looking at the, uh, door right now, or just past the door. Um, and the way out has, like, a ladder. I wonder if that ladder leads to the statue that is, like, the waypoint, uh, one of the waypoint, um, areas. Because there was, like, a button I pressed, and then there was, like, the hatch there. I am back. Welcome back. Well, uh, what's going on? Um, I'm conjecturing that, like, the door that's locked from the other side... We, we discovered that there's a lever on the other side of it, so that's why we can't open it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's, um... We found the entrance into that path yeah. already. That's the so, hidden button on the statue, right? Cor correct. Okay. And then this should take us over by Migo. That's the guy we already... Uh, who's possessed. Not possessed, but uh, damned? Yeah, the the madman. I don't know if he's actually damned, but he, he is a madman. Oh, that there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> let's see. We've been neglecting uh, Fox and Azangi for skills, so let's uh, let's go get Fox and Azangi some skills. Yeah. There's Buddy over. Um... Oh yeah, go go talk to Buddy. Right here. Buddy. 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 Buddy is buddy. Buddy is good. Is good people. The old dog looks up at you, but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. He heaves a heavy sigh. It's no use anyway. The dog tentatively sniffs the offering. Then grabs it. You're, you're nice. Emmy would have. Oh. Emmy would have loved you. She was my mate for the last seven, thirty-two, plus fifty. <laughs> it's sad but funny in that. Hey, let me show you something. Oh. Big key. Whoa. Nice. It is Buddy's key. Which is yet another one of the ways that we could get into the fort. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> there's like there's like three or four things that if you just play your cards right or have the right abilities, you'll get alternative ways into the fort. Or else, you know, Wait. you can blow open the front doors. D Dane is dead. Who? The the guy that we healed up earlier. The fuck? Oh, because you gave him the alcohol, he just died in his sleep from his injuries. 
Rip. If you hadn't given him the alcohol and we healed him, he would have lived. Uh, raw lumpy giblets. Congratulations, Azanki. You killed an innocent man. Wait, you mean, also, you mean that's something new? Also, if you're bartering, don't let let me do that. I have bonuses for it. I was just trying to get him to be friendly. That's fair. I was giving him random stuff I had in my pants. I mean, if you let me do that, then uh, then I get discounts for it. Um, I'm gonna eat the giblets. So I can no. Never mind. That it did not have any lore with it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I just ate some of this guy with no lore with it. Cool. <laughs> the only reason that I'm <laughs> eating people in game is for the lore. <laughs> it's for the lore. <laughs> Say this, but Gib lore. Okay, Actually, which water balloon um which way are y'all uh we went into the into the cave with the yellow flag on it gotcha okay oh i have a shiny red ball red bottle we well, were led here initially yes okay so uh, everybody pass me whatever money you can and anything that you think would be good to sell. Um, I have an extra bed roll. Um, muddy mittens. Did you have an extra bed roll? Yes, I found one out and about, and so I, okay. um, picked it up, and it's worth 20, so, you know. Okay, yeah. Uh, nails, is that a crafting thing that we should hold on to? Yes, hold on to the nails, because if you combine nails with your shoes, you are immune to slipping. Interesting. Okay. I will be right back. Sure, sure. Oh, there is an arm here. I should probably eat that. <laughs> hmm. for the order you wanted to be a stonemason marry the baker you still dream about it every night uh that arm i ate says uh, you hated your work for the order you wanted to be a stonemason marry the baker you still dream about it every night Stab you right in the eye. Attitude for Lowe's. Plus 69. <laughs> Mm, there's poison on the other side of this. I see my character holding a leg by the ankle and eating it like a turkey leg. That would be <laughs> cursed. 
but accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, Fox. Uh, the you have quite a few of the warfare skills. You just need bouncing shield for the warfare stuff, right? I wish the chat window did not get overtaken by the... Or that I could, like, switch back and forth between them, because... Battle Stomp, Crippling Blow... Uh, you've got Battering Ram, right? Uh, see, I think, I think all you need is the shield. I didn't know Battering Ram did poison damage. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, uh, send that to Amelia. Now we need to find the person who does shadow stuff. Whoever kills the other is the boss. Do we want to talk with this person here in... She bows. In this cave, we trust Sahina. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the ca I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Cure. Thanks, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Our kind of here. I can take a wooden figurine, which I feel like is needed for a crafting thing. That's but I don't know but I don't know what the crafting thing is. She bows. I'm gonna take this helm. And no escapes. The only way out is through in this cave. Send that we to you, Crystal. Wait, before you go. Oh, I got an additional thing from Elodie. An additional text option. Wait, before you go. I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. I can think of no finer I... occasion than this. Thank you. I also really like how the elves are all they they don't have the same culture and the same understanding of the world as the humans do. And so they talk and act very differently, and I really like that about them. Yeah. Severed head. You cover your face. Oh, yeah. You've just heard the news. The elven homelands have been destroyed by death fog. It was your order who yep. did it. The head of an elven magister. Because the magisters became super fucking racist and decided that the elves had to be destroyed because... They weren't specifically following Lucian. Mm -hmm. It was your order who did this. Mm -hmm. Talking about the divine order. Yeah. Wait, New skill, first aid. Nice. Wait, what? What doesn't Fox? I I missed that. I apologize. It doesn't. Battering Ram doesn't do poison damage for you? Oh! It, it does whatever damage type your weapon does. That's what it is. So if I... So because my wands are poison wands, it would have done poison damage if I used it. That's, That's what interesting. it is. Oh, you. Right in the eye. Wait. Okay, so... We talk with... Sahila over here? Yeah. I'm going uh, up. Too late. I'm I went up. You did. Ah, <laughs> oh, hello. 
I'm very sorry to see the thing inside. Is it becoming stronger? Hmm. This really started sounding like Jeff Goldblum. Oh. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, I like you. I see it before my eyes. This case is dangerous. dangerous. He doesn't want you to know. He doesn't want you to hear its name. Something stirs within. Your heart begins to race. I I can tell you though. I it might be I useful don't... knowledge, but it might also cause harm to her. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid of that happening. I'm going to save this here as well. I'm going to save scum this. Yeah. The elf visibly shudders and suddenly starts to sweat. There's no time. It is, it is angry now. You need to stop it now. Suddenly, your spirit shrinks away in terror. The thing looms. Your hands are suddenly desperate to rip the young elf apart. You want her skin under your nails, her blood in your mouth. Ooh. You can't stop it. The voice is too loud. The pull is too strong. You lunge at the elf, desperate to destroy her. We must hurt you if you hurt us, Losa. It is the only way to wake you up. Do you hear me? Please, you must subdue. Hurt her to save her. It's the only way. Hurt her to save her. Yeah, no, fight me. Do do not fight You're with mad. me. Fight we me. Can't let us slaughter these innocent people. Um. I don't want. Uh, yeah, don't want to watch her beat. <laughs> Kill the elf, 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 kill the elf. Number five. Alright, let's kill the elf. Kill the elf. You must weaken her to help her. Oh Jesus. Wait, what? No, you all decided not to sit with me. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm loading that. No, it's forcing you to fight on my side, even after you specifically chose not to fight on my side. Well, uh, so you're our teammate. So by game mechanic, we just deal damage to you, and then they're technically attacking our team. So it's marking them as red. There's the thing though, there there are instances in the game where the team has to fight itself. Usually not like, it, it's usually in good fun. And so it fully has the ability to mark us as hostile to each other and mark us as friendly to others. And in this instance, it just decided not to. Odd. So you're not sure you want to know. There's no time. Oh, God damn it. The thing looms. Your I don't have a choice. Desperate to rip the young elf apart. You want her skin. Un you can't. We must hurt you if you hurt us, Losa. Losa has gone Hold. mad. We can't let her. The elf yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong. I won't watch her be murdered. Yeah. Fight, fight me. If nothing else, yeah, just use your powers on me, and yeah. then and then flee the battle. Yeah. Um, and then, let's see, I'm actually going to swap stabs again. <laughs> it definitely doesn't really look like a mace, I agree, Fox. Okay, that time it took an action point, so I don't know what was different last time. Oh, no. Good night, Lisk. Um. 
Yeah, I don't think you can directly target me with attacks. You gotta do area of effect stuff. I do not want to hurt you, no, I, I definitely could directly attack you. Oh, okay. That's good. Oh, but it did attack of opportunity against them. <laughs> and they're going for everyone but me, the person who started it. That... what... Game. Can I can I hit myself with the searing daggers? I don't think I can. This is going to hurt. There. All right. Battle's over. Yeah, I was about to throw a chloroform bomb at your face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Crystal, real quick, exit the conversation and cast rain. Rain, yeah. Yeah, let's let's get that out of the way. Okay, thank you. And then just rejoin the conversation. Yeah. Oh, relight the fire again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am here. So are you. There is nothing to forgive. I Except the game mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You cannot stop it. Everything happens as it must. This is oh, actually, can you also cast restoration on me? Anyone's. Um. That'll get. Is it? Oh, I, I might cast fortify on you to prevent the poison from ticking down, but maybe not I've... heal for right now. I think the heal will get rid of the poison. Right, but also I don't know game. Like the the lore. Oh, it might do was. another another fight. Yeah. Right. So I'm just okay. going to do fortify to get rid of the poison. Okay. Thank you. Shh. It takes you again. Now is not the time. When you are ready, you are ready. Another day. I see your triumph, Losa. If you are strong. You survive. If you are weak, it consumes you. If you are weak, it consumes many. Be strong. Please. Oh, exit the conversation quick. Yep. Oh, Where were yep. You just now, lost inside, lost deep inside. The thing was in control. It held your spirit by the throat. You couldn't speak. You couldn't act. You're you again, for now. But your body and soul ache terribly. I am stronger than this thing. Or if I'm not now, I will be soon. Very soon. I've never seen anything like that. I wonder how long Losa will still remain herself. Yeah. We've got to find out exactly what that thing is. Then we might be able to help her get rid of it. That thing may be part of her, but it doesn't define her. Thank you, Fox. Right, so if somebody else wants to talk to Sahela. Yeah. The young I will. Eyes are covered, but she turns toward you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Hmm. Ah, hello. I'm going to take a nap. So <laughs> Good. <laughs> so much suffering you have and you make. Does causing pain stop yours? Ah, Sabeel's unique dialogue. Hmm. I see it before my eyes. Um. <laughs> Tell her you're only getting started. The balm of your, the, the <laughs> blood of your enemies is like a balm for your soul. <laughs> uh. Honestly, of these options, 
That's somehow the best one here. <laughs> Your anger. No, I should not say. You must discover for yourself. She takes your hand. I wish you only healing. Thank you. It looks like she wants to speak further, but she hesitates, shakes her head. No, surely it cannot be. Okay, so now you can have a normal conversation yeah. with her. Say you're looking for a way out of Fort Joy. Say you'd like to ask a few questions. Probably way out of Fort Joy. Shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. Ask about this Amiro. My protector. My friend. An elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me. And he suffers very much. He is hmm. caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. Uh, I think we promised to help her friend. Yep. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I see something that helps. What is that noise? I see a lizard. He I don't know. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. A lizard. See, okay, we have a couple of lizards here, but you know. <laughs> well, there was one that was specifically sleeping. True. Yeah, yeah. Yes, please ask. Uh, ask why she covers her eyes. Oh, probably for far scene. I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. They are gone now, taken. But I see all the same. Interest. Is Anki? Are you messing with something? Is Angi? Oh. Were you were you messing with something just then? Like in your hand? I'm on my desk. Okay, like it. For some reason, I can like really clearly hear that pen. <laughs> At least I think I think it's I think it might be you. I'm not sure. I'll I'll keep an eye on the Discord just in case. Yeah, that that sounds like what the uh, noises were. Ask who took her eyes and why. Ask why she and others are holed up in this dank cave. <laughs> oh, yeah, dank brother. <laughs> this place is mustier than me. <laughs> and I'm an ancient He's corpse. <laughs> a very blind man. He sees things, but not truth, not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. My eyes are worth mm. more than everyone in here. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, you have gems for eyes. You and golden teeth. True. It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. Griff. He makes no trouble for us. I knew we must I even be have here. small gemstones I'm on my not head. Sure how much to explain. <laughs> and golden you filigree here, in my skull. So we are here. Okay. Change the subject, take your leave. Okay. Um, something I did notice, if you look over this way where all the boxes are, there's some uh -huh. barricades, and then there's a, like, I think it's it like says... a whole, a whole yeah. area back there. Yeah. Do we want hey. to take a look over that way? Yeah, we you can. What damage your weapons trying to do with that? Uh, we don't have to. We can just move stuff. The barricades we'll have to destroy, but like, yeah, we can we can move stuff. The fuck, okay. Can I see you use a spell on it? Yes. Yeah, you can. Invalid target. Okay. Also invalid target. Cool. And almost.
And then Fox just, like, puts the boxes back in the way and blocks <laughs> us inside. Excellent. Oh, sneaking? Sneaking. Hey, go ahead. It's all... Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, there's even more stuff than what I noticed before. Okay. Um... Yeah, let me... I'm gonna quickly do this. Um, over here. Uh, grab crystal. Up you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, Caref contamination careful about going. Book. Careful about going too far, Zanki. Got a wooden figure. Okay. A big okay. chicken foot. <laughs> it's worth 35 gold. <coughs> Look at all those chickens. Look at all those chickens. What does the signpost say? Um, hold on. I'm, I, I got a book and I'm reading. Book. The book is written in an uneven scrawl of a young hand. Once there was a hero who was named Modi. Modi was a knight. Also, he was a prince. One day, he was in his kingdom giving food to hungry people when red monsters with red capes and red eyes grabbed him away. They did bad things to the king and queen. The monsters threw the hero, Modi, in a prison. Uh, he found some friends in a dark cave, and they were nice, even though they didn't have to be. And that's how the hero found out that he could still be happy, even if people and monsters were not nice. Because some people would still be nice anyway. To be continued. <laughs> with, like, seven exclamation points. <laughs> Modi's place, no grown-ups allowed except heroes. Modi's place, no grown-ups allowed except heroes. <laughs> That, that echo down here. I love the narrator. Nice. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Fox. Like Stanley's Parable, which it wasn't a bad game, but without that specific narrator yeah oh man it would not be the game that it was <laughs> yeah it wouldn't hit the same yeah <laughs> just keep moving <laughs> it along <laughs> i don't i don't think it blocks <laughs> sight <laughs> we gotta take this box through the rest of the game with us this, this box is important Um, I'm going to be heading up here because there's some stuff at the end of the ship. I'm going to go up there with you. Okay. I'm going to sit right here. I like how my staff is like mostly peeking out of the rock. <laughs> <laughs> Parts of, uh, of Fox's shield and helmet are peeking out of the barrel. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, there was five <laughs> gold. Fox just swallows a barrel in a crate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ooze barrels are for poison. Oil <laughs> barrels are for fire. Water barrels, obviously water. What would oil be the barrels, last thing? Oil barrels are actually more for oil. They spread oil on the ground, which can then be set on fire. Right, yeah, 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 but... Uh, as and what was the the last question that you had? So the the last element basically would be some sort of air thing, right? For lightning or yeah. like, yeah. And there there's not really a barrel for that. Gotcha. The close really what you have is the water barrel where it can mix with lightning. Uh, I don't think my ooze barrel uh, runs out. It's just it does not weight is the thing. Yeah, it, it does not run out. Uh, as you say, it's just super fucking heavy. It's uh, but it weight. yeah, but it is infinite poison bottles. So yeah, if as long as I keep finding more bottles, I can just keep filling them up. 
And uh, oil barrels are infinite oil flasks that we can throw at people as long as we keep having empty potion bottles. Nice. But it is a bit of a waste of the bottle when you could make potions instead. Uh, Kanuda, if you come up here... Oh. Okay, never mind. Dog. All right, then. Salty mucus. <laughs> Crystal is the only one that is, that is out of the turn order, which is good. Um, let's should see. I, I... I should let you attack a little bit and then probably yeah. cast a few spells. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they'll notice if I use flesh sacrifice on myself? Yes, I, I think. I think any action will ruin the sneak. Okay. Okay, Fox is not in the encourage, so I don't want to use that yet. Here, Zongi, take take some extra wits. Oh, uh, another frog. No, it's one of the frogs just moved. Oh, okay. Well, should, um, I should have should used target? my spell um, when I could have then. Fox, I would say target the lightning amphibian, the the charged one. Well, that one's sleeping. I'm okay for a round. However, Crystal can heal themselves. Yes. I can't. I mean, I've got potions, but I could I could use assistance. Yeah, you're over there. Yeah. But Fox should definitely go for the charged one. Yeah, still still go for the lightning. I don't think I can heal you from here. No, you definitely can't. If I were on the ground somewhere, then you probably could, but I'm not. I'm going to try and teleport this frog away from me on my turn. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, so this dude takes extra damage from fire currently. Good to know. Poison boy. Yeah. Well, it's also just that he's on fire, so. Yeah, so I'm going to. Oh, like you. You had asked uh, what kind of cat Sir Laura is riding. Uh, obviously, it's an Egyptian skinless. Mm -hmm. Let's do... Poison dart? <laughs> yeah, they're they're immune to poison. You want to hit the charged one. Oh, you hit a Zangi with it. Never mind. Sorry. Like, I'm standing in gotcha. Hole. Yeah. My bad. But yeah, poisoning the frogs is not a good idea. Gotcha. Uh, oh, shoot. If I use... Although contamination, it, the water's already affected by electricity. Would contamination override that? It would. Don't worry. Don't do contamination. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. The poison frogs, like, they can't hurt Izanki at all. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going down. Goodbye. You do not frighten me, little frogman. Um, <laughs> I will wear your skin like a hat. Okay, I need to get closer to you, but I could heal you. Please go ahead and heal me if you can. Yeah. So I'm going to, like, there. Thank you. You're welcome. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, 
I don't think I should use rain either, so I'm gonna just end my turn. I mean, you'll wash away poison that's on the floor. Yeah. It's up to you, though. But I think I'd also put out the fire on... Yeah. Yeah, that that's fair. You would. And if I did it for the charged amphibian, that would perhaps cause uh, shocked? Not to that one. It's, it is immune to air damage and immune to being shocked. Okay, but what about Fox? Uh, Fox could be shocked and right. stunned. See, yeah. So there's no good reason. I don't think the yeah. venomous frog is doing physical damage. It's magical damage. So using Correct. fortify is not going to really help. I can use it later for helping clear away poison, but not for yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah, we need to find the uh, water and ice merchant because then you can get a an ability that gives magic armor as well. Yeah, I, I have a scroll for frost armor, but I don't have the skill, obviously. Mm. Uh, the frogs are doing physical damage. Oh, they are. Okay, that that's right. They have poison abilities, but they do physical damage. Interesting. Well. Oh well. Noise. Fuck it's day up. Oh. But why? <laughs> first things first, let's do that. Second, let's put you right there. I do like that that the uh, the warfare skills can Captain America the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> best part is like the bouncing shield is a multi-target it, it can ricochet from targets i think Ooh, nice. nice very nice um Do that. Do Shield bounces this. up to five meters away. Nice. What? Why did poison where I'm standing? Because you're standing in water. So it's not a targeted spell, it's just anywhere around me? Contaminate? Yes, it's just anywhere around you. Okay. Interesting. And remember that the, the poison frogs are immune to poison. True. Yeah. Uh, in any case, I'm moving over here. <laughs> <laughs> and it died. It died to ex to explodin. Explosion. By the way, Knuda, if you look past the ship, there's a chest over there that ah. you'll need to teleport us over oh. to. That is okay. oddly depressing. What? I found a pair of children's gloves in this frog. Oh, yeah. Rip. Got some lock picks. <laughs> okay, this frog's corpse needs to move. I got a ripped shirt. So we found a pair of children's gloves. Ah, excuse me. Orange shirt. Dude. It's a it's almost like they were monsters attacking people and there's melted bodies all over the place. Hooray. <laughs> so who needs some gloves? Um what do they provide? Yeah. Two physical. Um I have one and four and I think that's better for my build. 
Uh, Izangi, here's a poison flask. I just realized I can tie a knife to a stick. Yep, make a spear. Uh, no, it'd make a sword. Really? Yeah. No, oh, okay. It's literally knife on a stick. No, okay. Um, you don't need the lock picks because of your bony fingers, right? Nope. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Fox, what does that weapon you got now do? Damage wise. Okay, the knife on a stick isn't better. It does seven to eight damage. But would you rather have a sword or a weird phallic club? <laughs> <laughs> That's certainly one way to put it. Well, just... Oh, oh no. Is the kid Modi? Is that whose gloves it were? Probably. No, no, Modi, Modi. No, Modi's in the other cave chasing around the other kid. Okay. Whew. <laughs> still, still sucks, but like hearing like the story of Modi and then if it was Modi who died like that, that would be really dark <laughs> <laughs> weaponized dildo no! take a life so callously would they take my own so easily Apparently the cat Invisible. Whoa. Yuki just <laughs> crushed the cat. What did you do? Yuki crushed the cat. Get Fox! <laughs> it's a... got, got some raw red meat and a claw. Ah well. Like I, I can't I can't load it up, I don't think. Not without having to go far back. Yeah. Well, it's all right. It it's not a major plot thing, so. So where did Modi go? Oh, he went up. He went up here on this little uh, sand patch. Oh. He's gonna introduce us oh, to a friend. You to into. Uh, let's see. Give you some wits. There you go. Now, uh, don't go in first. Let Crystal actually go in first. Oh, here? here? Yep. <laughs> A giant hole I just dug. Forgotten cell. Let, uh, let, let Crystal lead the way here. Because this is a good bit. Oh, this, this is a big dude over here. Mm-hmm. Lord Withermore. You're back. And you brought... But... But who's this? Petrified. This is my new friend. She's my really team. smart. You'll like her a lot. <laughs> Please, small child, leave me to my ruminations. Leave me to my ruminations. But she's really nice. And tall. Maybe she could <laughs> And tall. What? A grown friend. You brought an adult here. Good, good God. Can it be? <laughs> okay. What? what in the world are you? Tell him clearly you're an elf and he's clearly an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Reminds you of the humans you met a millennium ago, back before elves and humans freely mixed. Uh, what what is he? A fair question. My name is Withermore. I have been trapped here, oh, I know not how long. Long enough that my flesh has long since withered to dust. Long enough that your visage is quite foreign to me. 
Which is funny because. Go on. So, elves and humans have been freely mixing for a pretty long time. Uh, by this point in history and at the very least like humans were aware of the elves existence which means he's been down here for millennia for a long time a long fucking time <laughs> doesn't he count a child may technically be alive but <laughs> so is a potato <laughs> <laughs> I love Withermore so much. <laughs> also, the, the the irony of the name Withermore, like it, your name in life was Withermore, and now you are a husk who withered away. I think it wasn't the until the end of the first one that elves and humans started to interact. So, in the very first Divine Divinity, you start off in a village that has an elf uh, in it. Um. But it is true that throughout the first game, you don't see a whole lot of elves living with humans. Um, really, it's only Divinity Original Sin that you that you start seeing a lot of elves with humans. And even then, it's not much. So is Potato, if you understand me. Okay, that's why he's trapped down here. A wicked king. Bracchus Rex by name. Bracchus Rex. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Hmm. Yet, my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Ah, he's a Source Hunter. Please, good lady. So, you must free me. There I is an... spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. He's got to have been down here for more than a thousand years because, like, the Order of the Source Hunters was a thing in the first Divinity Original Sin, uh, but Brachus Rex was long dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, as well, I'm trying to think. So, the entire reason the Source Hunters exist is because the Source, that special magic that only some people can use, got tainted. Specifically, it got tainted by Damien during the second game after you free him. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because originally the source only existed in one single city. Uh, and that city was actually known as the City of Healers. Um, it, it was a good thing that, that helped people. And then uh, after that, Damien uh, tainted the source and... Not every sorcerer became evil, but a few became exceptionally evil. Oof. That sucks. Yeah. You can imagine his torment all too well, but would it be wise to free an undead? We have an undead on our party, so I don't think that's the best answer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, like, think harder about that. Would you trust Izangi? <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that question unless you want to sleep with one eye open tonight. <laughs> uh, say he's in luck. He does delight in setting trapped creatures free. <laughs> I, I I think that one. Oh bless you, good Sauron's bless one ring. Sauron's one ring corruption. Yeah. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I beg you. Okay. Um, Spear of Brachus Rex. Someone with a high strength needs to do it. Uh, Fox, try it, and if that doesn't work, yeah, there we go. He's not withered. Mm-hmm. He has a very nice mustache. That would I do, but there is strong magic at play here. I am bound still. Even as my body shall crumble, my very soul remains trapped in my bones. A spell most terrible. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Brachus Rex, may maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, 
He must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. The mundane I realm. This place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. Surely, surely. The switch will open a hatch, and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracus's phylactery room, you will find the phylactery snares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Bracus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die. At last. With dignity. He's just like, kill me. Please kill me. I mean, yeah, imagine having just been stuck to a wall for God knows how long. It's amazing that he has any kind, any semblance of sanity. He and his researchers crafted punishments and snares contrary to human dignity. Objects that could contain souls. Ones that could purge the very essence from sorcerers. My order. I was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. Fun, funny My thing. I'll tell you it in just a minute. The world's most unwholesome weapons and magic into an army he intended to use against the realm. So, he mentions that his order would never have used such barbaric magic against yeah. their enemies. By the way, the divine order came from the order of the source hunters. Yeah. Isn't it divinity that had high humans, ancient humans that were close to ascension? Uh, kind of. Divine divinity, there were three people who could become the divinity. Hmm. Um, but I forget what it was about them that made them special. I thought it was just that they were chosen by the gods. I never thought I would become one of his victims. And yet... Here I am. Here I am. Okay. All right, well, we have not yet fully entered the prison. Like, we did, but we didn't uh, get into the fort itself. But it is 11 o'clock. Yeah. Um, before we go, I do want to find the other um, uh, traitors. Yeah, what's up, Fox? I feel like Griff is the rogue uh, person, the rogue skill person. Either that or Hilda is. Polymorph for summon. Um, summon would help you out a lot. Um, or sorry, no, polymorph. Polymorph would help you out a lot. Uh, it would give you uh, a lot of really cool and unique abilities that would go well with warfare. Um, someone would give you a lot more things that could take hits, but if you die, they die. Um, so it's up to you. Polymorph can keep you alive. Summon can deal more damage. And again, Polymorph can deal more damage as well. It, like Polymorph tends to go better with warfare. I will say that. It's interesting that, like, even physical attack groups still have spells and such. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be back next Monday for this, right? Say that again? We'll be back next Monday for more of this, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, and, and the following Friday and Monday, I'm also available, but then I'm unavailable for one week. Yeah. Uh, if we're wrapping up here, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my stream. Yeah, I'm just going to try and find these uh, traders that have skill points that way... 
uh, we can we can get more skills. Where the hell did Hilda go? Oh, you're up above the surface. I, we were just kind of chilling down here. <laughs> yeah. Where in the hell? There she is. Yep, lots and lots of uh, of scoundrel stuff here. Uh, all right, hand me over anything you want to sell. Um. Uh, I will send you this big chicken foot because I don't know what else it could be used for. <laughs> <laughs> I have a helmet. It's a scale helmet for four one. Oh, four, nice. Four physical, one magic. Um. Don't know if that would apply better for somebody else or if I should just put it on. Um, I'd say just put it on. Okay. Okay, Isagi. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skills here to choose from for you. Uh, let me go through them real quick and. Actually, uh, tell me which ones you already have. It's Angi. I have Throwing Knives, Chloroform, and Backlash. Throwing Knives, Chloroform, and Backlash. Okay. Um, I will be able to get one of these. Because this is giving access to a lot of your higher um, level skills. I think I'm going um, to wrap up stream here. I can get you. I'm going to meet myself knife. for just a minute to wrap up. Yeah. Uh, sawtooth. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did and you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. Um, I stream four days a week. Uh, two of the days are this and then... Um, I'm also playing Barrel Trauma and Hades right now. So yeah, uh, I hope there will be uh, something amongst those that you like. Um, I'm also putting videos up. Uh, uh, I'm aiming at least weekly, but perhaps uh, bi-weekly. Uh, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a nice evening, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, friends.